Why is there a truck out here in the middle of the woods? Maybe it's an ancient medieval relic or something. Trucks of the round table. Huh? Uh, uh. huh? <sighs> it looks old. Maybe like dinosaur aged. Like Triassic times. Not like it would still work anyway. <laughs> now here's an awesome car. Not like that old thing. <laughs> Not a human. In my day, we walked uphill to school both ways, and you were lucky if you had shoes. Ah! Dinosaur! I saw a dinosaur! Katie! In the woods! Huh? Dinosaur! A huge dinosaur! That's not how you watch a baby! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. There's no dinosaurs around. They're extinct. You probably just saw... Uh, an old monster truck in the woods. But a dinosaur? Well, no way. Yes, a truck! But then it turned, whoosh, to a dinosaur. Uh-huh. Trucks turn into dinosaurs all the time. Yes, <laughs> right? <laughs> I first saw this giant truck, then poof, it was a dinosaur. But that's absurd. It <laughs> Ow! Scientists would have discovered that. <laughs> Ow! Cut it out, Florian. There just can't be dinosaurs hiding in the forest. <laughs> Ow! Grandma, a little help? It's such a beautiful day. Why not take a walk in the woods and bring him? Yeah, I'll show you it's for real. Oh. Well, when will we see it? Probably soon. Keep up. Yep, I'm sure. Hello, dinosaurs? See, Peter? It's not true. It's just your imagination. I did see it, though. The dinosaur. It was here. <laughs> not even a truck, and no tire tracks. So there, it's not real. Oh no! <gasps> Florian, wait! He's too young to swim. What do we do now? I can't swim either. Me three. Dinosaurs! <gasps> Listen up, team. Operation Rescue Baby, initiate. Go, go, Turbozars! <laughs> It looks deep. Wow. It's not enough. Let me give something a try.
think it was just my imagination? <laughs> hmm. You all have some explaining to do. Hmm? Hmm? Where do we begin? Joe, Bull, Jerry, Unky, Thor, and Chuck, your Turbosaurus friends. Now they are on funny stickers in Viber. Join our channel and share your emotions with your friends. So what brings you kids to the woods alone? You humans might get lost. We won't get lost here. You could say we practically live here, so we know it's safe. I know every rock and tree. We're on summer break. Our grandmother lives nearby. We're staying there. Our parents are working in the city, but they visit us on weekends. We should introduce ourselves. Well, my name is Katie, and these are my brothers, Peter and Florian. <laughs> Do you all have names as well? Of course! First up, Bull! Oh, wow! Cool. Huh? <laughs> Thor! That's incredible! Shock! Show him? We'll, we'll show, show him. It truly did, you're right. We had a couple million years. But, uh, you're always in the woods or underground. Don't you get bored or lonely? There's a great, big, beautiful world left to see. Yeah, it does get kind of boring every now and then. And lonely. But we have a solution. Bull? In this form, we have more freedom to go where we please. So wonderful! Hang on. You're telling me this whole time, when we're downtown, and we see cars driving around the streets and stuff, it might have been you guys? That's uh -huh. right. Mind-blowing! Huh? <laughs> 
Look alive, folks. A human's approaching. Understood. Until next time. <laughs> Afternoon, Mr. Charlie. Hello there, children. Seen any good mushrooms around here? Not here, Mr. Charlie. Have you? Nothing <laughs> interesting here. We were just on our way home. See you later, Mr. Charlie. Get home safely, you kids. Hmm. This time last year, this place was teeming with fungi. And now, not a single one. What in tarnation? Some weird graffiti.
We don't need a map, just our brains. Ahoy me! Yeah. All talents on deck! Bro, look, it's the island! That's awesome! Made it yesterday. Surprise! The treasure's somewhere on it. Yeah, let's go! Couldn't find the treasure. Is that what I think it is? <laughs> yes, yes, yes! We found the treasure! Happy birthday! Hooray! Whoa! It's pirate costumes! <laughs> huh? Ahoy! What a fine looking dino crew! Where to, Captain? Adventure! Team, hi! Good afternoon, <coughs> Mr. Charlie! Hello there, children. Cars out here in the woods? That's odd. What are you kids up to out here? Just helping my sister learn soccer. Toby, here boy. Nothing to see here but a bunch of junk. <laughs> Talk back to me, boy. You're going to the vet today. And I don't want to hear any more sass from you about it. Okay, all clear. <laughs> hey, what's so funny? The old man called Joe junk, but I think the dog kind of likes her. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm certainly not junk. How many Seropolis do you know who can turn into convertibles? While we're on the subject of being great, how impressed was the dog with my wingspan? Be honest. <laughs> <laughs> You're back from the vet already? Where's Toby? He's gone. Gone. Chased after a motorcycle, it slipped his leash. I look for him everywhere. But I guess he couldn't hear me call him. We've got to go bring Toby back. Of course we'll help get his dog back. We'll do whatever we can. Do you have any ideas, Thor? Well, downtown's a really big place. We should split up to increase our chances of finding this dog. Good plan. Go, go, Turbo Thors! Oh, my God. 
luck finding the dog, unfortunately. I feel awful for the poor thing. All alone in the big city, he could be miles away. <gasps> could it be? That's him, for sure. Must have fallen down somehow. Chuck, you'll be in charge of grabbing Toby. Bonky, bring the pipe out of the ground. Chuck, you'll be in charge of grabbing Toby. As for Joe, we'll need those headlights to see what we're doing. Turbicars, move out! How come everyone was given a job to do but me? I could have come up with a good plan, too. Be careful. Careful with those giant hands. Something that history books won't tell ya. Apparently, dogs love dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight. Well, I need to make a presentation about dinosaurs. Ha! For you, that should be a piece of cake. Yeah, I know, but I don't know where to start. How about a unique spin? You could write about if dinosaurs were alive with us today. Good plan. I could make a video. Great idea. I bet you could shoot it all on your phone. How else would I do it? That's kind of weird. Usually everyone's out. It's not like they can all go on vacation. Up there! Hey! Jerry! Ah! Hey, guys! What's new in human land? We need some help. Where is everyone? Asleep. Nap time. How come you're not sleeping? No rest for the awesome. Yeah, I should have known. I'm working on a school project. I could use some help from you all. So what do you need us to do? I need you guys to act like real dinosaurs and stuff, and I'll shoot it on video. A movie? So we'd be like famous actors? Kind of, <sighs> sure. Say no more. We're on it. from us. How can we help your movie? Show me the kind of stuff dinosaurs would do in ancient prehistoric times. Hmm. Get into fights and stuff, and roar! Show what you're made of! I think I'm made of bones and skin, but I don't know how to act like that. Most not the not the way. Way. Not yes. It's not like we're asking you to actually go fight each other, but you can probably pretend to, right? Oh, pretending. That sounds like fun, actually. Yes, yes, let's do it. Awesome, thanks. Who is first? Anyone? I'll go. Me and Donkey. Yeah. Wow, this will definitely earn an A. Uh, huh? huh? Okay, let's do it. Camera, action. 
action. Hmm. No, what's going on? Fighting so unsightly, Jerry. I agree with her. Fighting is reserved for simpler minds. Then what would you rather do instead? Huh, I don't know. I could show off my beautiful gardening. Uh -huh. Hmm. I don't know if dinosaurs gardening will fly with my science teacher. <laughs> Got it! We'll show off our dance moves. Oh, splendid idea! I am quick on my feet! <laughs> Whoa. It's the most awesome project I'll ever turn in. The best in your whole entire class. Thanks, you guys are the best. Make sure you don't forget our best dino trick of all. <laughs> huh? Everybody in position, go go Turbozords! Yeah, yeah, I'll get an A for sure. Millions of views online, awesome. There is just one small problem. If you show people this video, then they'll know who we are. Oh, you're right. We can't show it. But what now? Ah, easy. Peter can just draw all of our dinosaur antics. Yes, you're a genius. Yes, I am. <laughs> No stopping allowed. That's right, or else your car will get towed away. Where are the others? We were expecting everyone. They'll be here soon. It's not like them to forget. SOS! Huh? Something terrible's happened. Please help me! Jerry, what's going on? Deep breath, deep breath. Deep breath. Huh? Jerry, tell us what happened. And by the way, where is Joe? That's what I've been trying to get out. Uh, she was kidnapped. She went into the city and they took her. They took her away. I think I know what happened. She didn't know about the sign. And so they had to tow her away. Don't you worry, every problem has a solution. Jerry, lead the way. Go, go, Turbosaur! Wait, what about Chuck? A robot like him is sure to attract attention. Chuck's nothing to worry about. In the city, people are so busy that no one will notice him. You ready? Then let's go find our Joe. Now, where could she be? This situation calls for some eyes up in the sky. Jerry? I'm on the case. Oh, there you are. Welcome to your rescue. Jerry, they took me away. What are we going to do? Don't panic, Joe. Superhero is my middle name. Have no fear. We're going to get you out of here. The coast is clear. Time to let Chuck out. Ooh, little crabs in here. <laughs> I found Joe. Shh, she's up on the second floor. Well, shucks, I can just break down the whole wall. Joe can escape through the hole, and then I can close it back up again, and no one will ever know. How will she get down from way up there? There aren't any stairs. It's impossible. Ugh. Nothing could be simpler. I think I've got it. 
We just have to build a slide that comes down from the second floor. Here, take a look. You're a genius. Chuck, go ahead and break the wall and that part of the roof. Unky, go wait inside so you don't get in the way. Thor, Bull, go gather some dirt so when he's done, we can make a smooth slide for Joe. And what should I do? Watch and make sure no one sees us. Somebody's coming! Again with the construction. Digging, digging. Will it never end? Is he gone? Oh, I can breathe again. Are you ready? Yes. Slow, slow, faster, to the left. You got it. Okay, team, we need to restore the whole building and also flatten the slide. Let's go home. I just don't know what I would ever do without such friends. That's what friends are for, to help you out when you get in a jam. But next time, make sure that you follow this sign. What does it mean? Aye, aye, aye. I will now teach you the rules. Lucky those rules don't apply to me. Uh, uh. She's never gonna get it. Nope, I knew she'd get it. He's never gonna get it. But that's not fair! No flying allowed! Heads up! <laughs> Take your own advice. Look! Uh, what is that? A dandelion? Is that supposed to be an apple? This is not an apple. I saw it through my telescope and I took a picture of it. Do you think that's a... Uh... An enormous meteorite. I'm sure of it. And it's headed straight for Grandma's garden. And how do you know that? It looks like an apple. It's the shape of an apple and the size of an apple. So... So what? And where does Grandma grow the apples? In the garden. And that's where the meteor's heading. Today. <gasps> oh, but that's where Grandma keeps her prized pumpkin. And a meteorite could... <gasps> Grandma will be devastated if that happens. I say we won't let it. Where are we heading? To the rescue as fast as we can. Uh, does anyone actually have a plan? Well, of course I do. To bring down a meteorite, you need a slingshot. <laughs> no, not a great plan. Or perhaps we could lure the meteorite into a trap. The meteorite? It's just a rock. How do you plan to lure it? With cheese? Hmm. What if we could build the world's strongest and biggest fan? And blow the meteorite straight into... That gives me an idea. Come on, let's go. 
I've got it. We need a racket. An enormous badminton racket. And then we'll catch the meteorite. Exactly. exactly. Look, here are the strings of our racket. We will stretch them across the entire garden. And then when the meteorite arrives, kapow! <laughs> and now to create our racket. Thing. To the lake! Go, go, Turbozoid! So we're quickly digging up everything in the garden and moving it over here. And the meteorite will never know the difference. A brilliant idea. Hmm. What are you doing? Grandma will be back from the store any minute, and you've made a mess out of everything! Uh, well, it only appears to be a mess at first glance, but if you look a little bit closer... Put everything back where it was. Otherwise, my grandma will be very upset. Now that is more like it. Let's hurry. We need to stretch out the racket. We must carry out Peter's plan because the meteorite could fly in any minute now. Go right, and then to the left. We're just about ready. Go check for the meteorite. <laughs> Not so fast, Peter. You need to clean the lens. Look, you have a dandelion feather in your way. Oh, the meteorite is gone. It seems the only thing I saw was a feather. <laughs> <laughs> a, a meteorite's not coming for the garden? <laughs> Oops. He's going to fall down. How can we catch him? Uh-huh. <gasps> Here, turn it for me. To the right, to the left, towards me, towards me. Stop, right there. <laughs> Here's our meteorite. I'll take a wild guess. Are Boris and Bruno teasing you again? Yeah, Aunt Nora bought them a brand new robot. It's all we've been hearing about. Wow, it's so 21st century. Yeah, he's totally cool. If only you two had one, we could play together. Of course, you would have to be able to handle modern technology. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it too. Let's just say it's not like you and me. That's right. That gives me an idea. Chuck, this calls for your special talent. Do you get my drift? Yes. Go, go, Turbosaurus! <laughs> <laughs> I am a robot. My name is Chuck. <laughs> you should be in the movies. <laughs> oh no, scary. <laughs> Don't be afraid. He's not dangerous. I am a robot. You can call me Chuck. Wow, this one talks. Of course he can talk. He's state of the art, the latest model. He was a gift from our grandmother for good behavior. He can do all sorts of stuff. Look, check this out. He is great at dancing. That's amazing. He does exercises too. And he can pick stuff. 
stuff up. Hey, want him to pick you up? No need to worry. I can control it. Let me see that. You don't control it. This is for your toy car. <laughs> then that means it's moving by itself. Yes. <laughs> It's coming! The scary robot's after us! Running from this robot, the other one was huge, ferocious. Roar! I knew all these toys would be a problem. You two just bye bye bye. But Aunt Nora, a giant robot chased us. We saw. Yeah. <laughs> oh my boys, such <sighs> fantasies. But it really happened. All right then, I'll ask Katie and Peter. A big scary robot. No, we didn't see a big scary robot. Did you see one? No, we haven't seen it. <laughs> you see? No big scary robot. sure that no one trips and falls. Bull just fell asleep. Thor and Chuck are on the job, though. game yet. Let's go look for the ball. We'll find it and keep playing. Huh? They're 
just adorable. Huh? They sure are. But we can't play soccer with a hedgehog. Let's keep looking for the ball. Wait a sec. What if... <gasps> what if it rains? The river will flood and they'll be washed away. Oh, We have to do something. We should go ask Katie. She's an expert on nature. Wait here. I'll go get her. Your help. There's this hedgehog family with babies. Their home is in danger. That's horrible. Can you show us where to find them? the river will flood and wash away their nest. I got it. Let's move their nest away from the river. Their home is here. We can't just move them. I have an idea. Since we can't move their nest, we'll move the river instead. How would we do that? Easy. We can just build a dam and reroute the river. Go, go, Turbozors! <laughs> Thor, you dig a channel right here. Chuck, go collect Dad's trees from the forest. We'll be needing them for the dam. Check! To you, the hedgehog nest is safe. Now we can work on finding the ball. So how did you lose it? A giant kick. Without it, we can't finish our game. I think I can help with that. Stupid deer. In fact, they're one of the most useful medicinal plants we know of. That's so cool. There's more. Nettle plants can be used to make all sorts of delicious meals. There's soups, salads. Salad! Can we have nettle salad? Yes, we can have salad. 
I just have to go make it. While you wait, I suppose you can have some ice cream. Be sure you don't eat too much or you'll get sick. Yay! Maybe nettle plants can also be used in desserts. That could be good. <laughs> don't forget what she said. We can only have a little bit, just a taste. And have you washed your hands? Yep. <laughs> mm. Be sure you don't eat it too quickly. Mm. That can make you get sick, too. So what you're saying is Jerry just ate way too much ice cream, and now he's sick? Then the problem is that when Jerry is sick, he's not able to become a drone. <gasps> That's awful! What if our grandmother sees him? We better run home now. Go, go, Turbozors! <laughs> I've just had a realization. Being sick has its advantages and is actually quite nice. I think I'll stay sick for another week. What's this I hear about you being sick? Uh, it's true, my friend. I am terribly sick. <laughs> I can see that. I think our friend is in need of an ambulance. No problem. I'll take care of it. <laughs> Uh, oh, 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 what's going on? Where are you taking me? For millions of years, we dinosaurs have known about the medicinal properties of the common nettle plant. They can help with all sorts of diseases. I'm suddenly feeling better! No! You see? Look at that. You recovered immediately. You're right. I feel like myself again. At last, I found my glasses. <gasps> and now things should start looking normal again. <sighs> you know, it's not polite to laugh at a pterodactyl who's been sick. <laughs> Lots of fish, and Grandma will cook them up. I bet I could eat two whole fish myself. Oh, yeah? 
Gotta catch them first. Wanna have a contest to see who can catch the most? Okay, I accept your challenge. Unbelievable! Look at all this litter! It's really awful! What a shame. <laughs> Let's go find somewhere else to fish. Wait! We can't leave it like this. If we don't take care of the environment, then who will? So, what's today? Isn't it Wednesday? We won't be done until Friday. Not if our friends help out. Oh, hello. Looks like you've been fishing. But where are all the fish? There's a problem at the lake. There is so much litter. It's gross. We decided we had to do something. But we need some help. What are you two waiting for? Let's get our friends to help. 32, 33, 34, 35, 35. <laughs> Try and beat that. Huh? One, two, five, 45, I won. <laughs> you call that counting? That wasn't fair. What makes you say that? What number comes after 11? That's something like seven? Eight? That's what I thought. Bull, it wasn't on purpose. Hi, everyone. We sure need your help. There's a big problem at the pond. Wow. See? Ah, yuck. Don't worry. We'll clean it up. We'll sort it into what's biodegradable and what's not. Food waste is biodegradable, but plastic is not. It's important we separate the two. Bio what? Biodegradable. That means it will break down and decompose. <laughs> Food waste should be collected and buried. And as for the rest, let's place it in the correct bin. Chuck, please put plastic here and glass over there. <laughs> Bull, can you gather the rest into a pile? Uh -huh. Thor, can you dig a big hole? Then you and Unky will flatten it out. Jerry, can you coordinate us from above? But what about me? I want to help too. Once we bury the trash, you can help Unky and Thor level it off. Go, go, Turbozors! All clear! Hey guys, there's one more over on the left! Take the last pass, since my tires leave lovely tread marks. And that does it! Now Bull can deliver all these treasures to the appropriate bins! Don't forget, plastic and glass go in the recycling bins! Where's Chuck? The pond looks much better. It's time to fish. I thought you two might enjoy a boat, which I made. <laughs> Chuck, you are a true genius! And all that I needed to construct this boat was one, two, eight, twenty, one hundred and twenty-seven bottles. <laughs> <laughs> Want to have a contest to see who can catch the most fish? I accept your challenge. did a super job. Now it's so beautiful here. Huh? What if people come here and litter again? Not to worry. I'll patrol from above, and if I see someone littering, then I'll get this signal to Chuck. 
You're up, Chuck. Now that ought to make people think twice about littering. But today's the last day it's showing. Let's go, sis. Come on, I know you want to see this movie. Sorry, Peter, we can't. There's no way we can go. Oh man, why not? Huh? huh? <laughs> That's our reason. We can't leave Florian alone. <sighs> Why, there you are. <laughs> we were wondering where you two were. We were just waiting and waiting. Our grandma had to go into town, so we have to watch Florian ourselves. We have to stay here and can't do anything fun. Hmm. Don't mind Mr. Grumpy Pants. He wanted to see a movie, so now he's gonna sulk about it. What if you got someone else to watch him? Who? Well, I'm great with kids, and this tiny human seems comfortable with me. You really think you can watch him for a couple of hours, Joe? Thanks, that's awesome. No, no, tiny human. <laughs> What now? Oh. Kids, are you hiding in my garden? I have your ball. Here you go. <gasps> Florian? Huh? Oh. Oh. What are you doing? You could get spotted. I lost sight of the tiny human. Now he's gone. What? Nobody panic yet. Joe, let's go alert the rest of the Turbozoars. <laughs> Florian couldn't have gotten very far. Huh? Huh. Huh. He's not back there either. He couldn't have gotten into the house, could he? We searched every room in the house, too. We can only hope he doesn't go too far. into the back of Aunt Nora's car. Huh? <gasps> Hang on! We gotta follow them! We should figure out where Aunt Nora's headed. You're right. I think we gotta split up. Chuck, you're great, but you don't have speed on your side. I think you should stay in the forest. You guys get to have all the fun without me. Maybe you should stay here, too. Someone needs to be here in case Grandma comes back before we do. <laughs> go, go, Turbo Zors! Why'd you stop, Thor? There's a roadblock here. We need to find another way. Uh -huh. so happy. One car delivery complete with tiny human inside. 
Guess what, you guys? We found the car that has Florian inside. Oh. We should probably put that back in its parking spot and see if you can fix the flat tire, too. Yes, that's right. I need a new tire. <gasps> Or maybe a whole new car? Hello? You must help! My car has been stolen! Oh! I guess it hasn't been stolen. And my flat tire's been repaired. What a strange day! What a shame. We've had such a terrible drought. These plants need water. Well, it looks like you're gonna get what you need. Huh? Aren't those rain clouds? Oh, wow. Those aren't just rain clouds. That's a real thunderstorm. Peter, Katie, we should get inside right away. Wait. First, I need to collect these apples. Huh? All right. Here I come. Worry. There's nothing to be afraid of. Thunder is just sound. It's lightning that you should be afraid of. Only because lightning huh? is uncontrolled electricity. Huh. Sometimes it can cause a fire. If it strikes something like wood, I learned about it in school. Looks like the rain's letting up anyway. Let's go out. Wait! I see something in the forest that looks like smoke. Where? There! Doesn't it look like a forest fire where the lightning struck? Grandma! Forest fire! I'll call the fire department. With just firefighters, can they really put the fire out? Dunno. I don't think they can deal with this on their own. Let's see if our friends can help them out. All right. It's all hands on deck to stop this fire. Putting fires out can be hard. Sure, but nothing is impossible. Here's where the pond is. Maybe we can make a canal, like this. If it goes over this way, we can stop it before it spreads. And what if this canal thing doesn't work? Look, this thing could spread to town. I think we need to warn people. Then you and Joe should go do that. Tell them to be ready just in case of evacuation. You on this side, you there. There's a lot of dead trees and fallen branches back here. If any of those catch fire, it could be real bad. Chuck, get the branches. <laughs> Unky, see if you can collect the bigger logs. How can I help? You can track the fire's path from above us. Mm -hmm. One? No, north and west. Thank you for telling me. I'll pack a bag and be ready to evacuate. <laughs> the forest fire, you say? 
Ah, well, it seems my apples will be soon baked. <sighs> Such a shame. Kind thing you're doing, warning everyone. Be safe. Thank you. This is just a precaution. Let's hope the firefighters put the fire out soon. And why is one sticking its tongue out? They're called emoticons. <laughs> They're like a language. See the smile, Grandma? Katie is just letting you know that she's in a good mood. So now you're going to know all about text messaging. Are you going to respond? Of course I'll respond. Now where are the smiley faces? Aha! Hmm. <gasps> Grandma, what are those strange symbols you sent me? What do you mean? She's the one who sent them first. From now on, when I need to say something, I won't use words. I'll only use the smiley faces. Well, you look at this. It's high time someone removes these from the road. Save water. Don't let it drip all day. This wall needs a paint job. Last but not least, please water. Let's see if all these emoti cans will do the trick. <sighs> So hot. Want to go to the lake? Huh? Ah. <laughs> go, go, Turbozoars! Take a detour! Hold it! What's all this? Let's see. Why are there pictures on these rocks? That's weird. There weren't any yesterday. <laughs> Do you think it's a message? If so, the message is that someone wants these stones dug out. That's right! I bet that someone wants these stones to be dug out so they can be cleared from the road. Who's this someone? Maybe that's their symbol. It looks like a broken dumbbell. Maybe a retired athlete. Do you think we can dig out the stones and move them? Are you kidding? Of course we can. All that's left is to decide where to put them. How about we take them to the lake? We're heading there anyhow. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Another message. Our mystery person strikes again. One's got a shovel. Do you dig it? And the other has some kind of broom. Let's go there. Hey, look. I'm a gardener now. Stop! Those are roots. This tree 
Bunny's upside down. Much better. That's done. Some water, please. That ought to do it. We did lots of important chores. Those messages were useful. What? Grandma just sent me a message. <laughs> what does it mean? She wants us to weed the new trees. Look, it's a broken dumbbell. So, all those notes we found, I wonder, were they from her? Good point. They were all from Grandma. They couldn't have been meant for us. So then who were they meant for? Let's ask her. <laughs> oh, what's this? Dinosaurs? What is going on over there? Huh? Peter? Dinosaurs? A new emoticon. <laughs> huh? He's been taken. He's gone. Kidnapped. Huh? Now hold on, just start over. Why are you panicking? And who's taken? Thor! They took him to the city. Here's how it went down. This trail makes me kind of nervous. The highway's right there. What if someone sees us? Huh? What the? <laughs> <laughs> Greetings! My name's Thor, and this here's Unky. What brings you to these parts? He's not a real dino. Probably made of plaster and wood. Huh? Hmm? Ah! Uh -huh. It's over here, right? Uh -huh. Somewhere. Ah, uh, there. He didn't hear the humans in time, so he didn't manage to turn into a car. He just froze in place, and they thought he was the fake dinosaur they made. I still don't understand. How did that lead him to getting taken? When they mistook him for the fake dinosaur we saw earlier, they took him to the city instead. Apparently they're building a dinosaur theme park downtown and one of the statues fell out of the truck. They think mm. Thor is that statue. He's all alone and he could be in danger. <gasps> well, guess we don't have a choice. We'll have to bail him out. Huh? <laughs> go, go, Turbozors! in and check things out. And you guys can wait for us in the park. They've been gone a while. <laughs> You know, real dinosaurs didn't look anything like this model. Right? It's all wrong. Huh? <gasps> Over there! <laughs> ah, you guys made it to the park opening? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so boring. None of these dinosaurs look real. They should be scary. Look at this one. <laughs> or these. Huh? huh? <laughs> boring. <laughs> Just people in costumes. Let's bounce, Bruno. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, you're here. I don't know how much longer I can last. It's been two hours since uh, I ate. Can you step off the rock? I can't. They put me in cement. <laughs> don't worry. Nothing's impossible. I've got a plan. So here's Thor, and here's us. Unky, can you pick up Chuck and truck for him and lift him up and over? That way he can dislodge Thor. Should be able to. Then it's settled. Tonight, Thor will get swapped out with the fake dinosaur from the forest. Which is where, exactly? We need it here. I remember where we found it. I'll take you there. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, Unky, did you forget where it is? 
I did not. I'm just having trouble remembering. Quiet! Mm -hmm. Someone's over there. Hmm. <laughs> I found something very suspicious. Come with me, children. I found proof dinosaurs live here. I present a specimen. Uh, that's not a real dinosaur. That's a statue, uh. Mr. Charlie. Huh? I guess. Oh, well, I only thought... Uh. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Bull, make hmm? sure the ground stays hmm? level for Unky. Then Unky brings over Chuck. Then he'll get Thor's feet unstuck. We'll need to get it done quickly and quietly. So Unky brings the fake over the fence. Then we put the fake on the cement and everyone gets back over safe and sound. Mm -hmm. Go, go, Turbozars! Great idea for a park. Maybe I'll come back sometime. Well, have fun with that. I've had quite enough of this place for a lifetime. <laughs> Thanks for the jailbreak. Let's not do this again. <laughs> Sensational. Tourists report a large scary animal in the forest near our city. The animal appeared to be a dinosaur. Nonsense, the things they come up with. But just in case, I suppose it can't hurt to ask your dad and some of his friends to go to the forest and take a look for this unknown animal. We gotta go warn the Turbozors. Thanks for breakfast. Thanks a bunch, Grandma. Oh, you're staying here with me, Florian. You need to finish your breakfast. They're not here. You think they were found? Dad couldn't get here that fast. Hi. <gasps> there you are. We've been looking for you. You've all got to split. What's going on? People saw you here and think you're dangerous. And now they're coming to find you, so you've got to leave the forest. We can't just leave. This is our home. We've lived here thousands of years. Yeah. yeah. What if we explain that these dinosaurs aren't dangerous? But who would believe us? We won't be allowed to come here again. People must never know we're here. We've hid a long time, and it's important that we continue to hide. I got it. We'll make it seem like it was all a big mistake by building a toy dinosaur. But what adult would be afraid of a toy? We just need people to think the report was a mistake. Peter, I think you just had a terrific idea. Does anyone else think that this creature might not be scary enough? Or am I the only one with doubts? Uh, what don't you uh, like about it, Chuck? To me, it looks like it's some innocent little animal. I bet if we made it out of rubber, then it could be somebody's bath toy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to try something different? We should make a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Why is that? Yeah, why is that? Same question. Hey, check out the Tyrannosaurus. <laughs> it's beautiful. And now, we have to make it look terrible. La, 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 la. One last thing. What will we use to build it? Hmm. Well... Oh! The wind knocked these down. If we look around, we'll find more. We are in a forest. Great idea! Let's do it! Huh, made of fallen trees! <laughs> go, go, Turbozors! Oh, <laughs> 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 
Hey, Chuck, why aren't you helping out? Oh, I could help everybody by being a bottle. <laughs> Looks just like you. <laughs> hey, you ruined it. Shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible beast found in the forest, standing absolutely still. Someone makes a wooden sculpture in the forest and tourists mistake it for a live dinosaur. Your dad and his <laughs> friends decided to bring it to town and put it on display in the square. We should all go see it. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't me. My ball didn't hit those flowers. Look, they're footprints. Must have been some animal here who crushed them with his feet. <gasps> Hello. We didn't know you had a cat. <clears throat> he's not mine. He lives on his own. So if he's done anything wrong, it's not my fault. What's his name? How should I know? I call him Kitty, or Snow Leopard. Kids, it's time to eat now. I'm all done. Everything tasted great. Grandma, can we help you wash the dishes? Oh, no thank you. We'll wait for hot water to come back. Go have fun. Kitty! Here, kitty. What happened? The cat is gone. Maybe he moved on. I kind of liked having him around. <sighs> Poor thing's probably far away by now. I don't think we'll ever find him. Kitty! Don't give up hope so soon. See? Look here. Aren't those his tracks? We can follow them. I know who can help us. <laughs> and now he's lost. Sounds like a pickle. We'll go find that cat. Jerry? One step ahead of you, Bull. <laughs> Target spotted nearby. Follow me. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty. <laughs> Looks like he doesn't trust us. Go, go, Turbozoars! Chuck, can you reach up there? He's scared. What do we do now? I have an idea. What if we make a ladder? Watch. Thor, make a base for the stairs. Joe, we'll need lots of timber for this. Unky, go help. Chuck, you can split the logs for the ladder rungs. Jerry, fix the rope. Whoa, what? What's that? Oh, I think I know. It's 
needs new pipes for the water system. That's why Grandma had no hot water. Oh no! Come back! Kitty? Kitty! Well, don't just stand there, Peter. Call the dinosaurs! As luck would have it, we need your help. Again. I see. Kitty's at it again. We'll need to be careful with this one, team. Chuck, you look into every pipe. If there's no cat, we'll need to put it very carefully into the trench. Unky, help us put the pipes in the ground. Thor, dig away. What should we do? You guys have the most important job, making sure the cat doesn't run away once we find it. you kids what a naughty boy running away home is where the heart is right cat of course this can be your home now all right i'll be back in three days now while i'm gone it's important that you're all good for at nora okay mm -hmm. Huh? Oh, there's my bus. I've got to go now so I can catch the train. Oh, someone forgot their suitcase. Huh? That suitcase belongs to Grandma. She got on the bus without it. Yes. A sticky situation. Don't you worry about it. I'll get the other Turbozors and we'll think of something. And then Grandma forgot her bag, along with everything in it. Oh, me too. Even though I was hungry, I somehow managed to forget breakfast and... Thor is a perfectly lovely story, but we just don't have the time. According to this map, we can catch the train at the next stop and bring your grandma her suitcase. The only problem is that stop is all the way on the other side of the river. I know what we can do. Turbozors to the river. Here, we will build a ramp and jump right over the river. Thor, you start digging a hole. Unky, you start looking for the materials. Mm -hmm. <laughs> go, go, Turbozors! And be sure to hang on to your hats. Your grandma needs her suitcase. Who knew Joe can fly? <gasps> Wait a minute, I can fly! 
To the grandma I go! Maybe you should have forgotten to have breakfast yesterday as well. <laughs> Do you have to drive so fast? You have to keep up, Jerry. We can't be late. Oh, maybe your grandma can do without her case. Jerry, if you're tired, just ride on the roof. What on earth are you waiting for? Step on it, Joe! Grandma needs her suitcase! Hold on tight, because the road might get a little bumpy from here. I'm not worried. How bumpy can it be? You're about to find out. <laughs> Jerry, you can open your eyes now. We've stopped moving. But we can't stop moving. We're already running late. I think we just might make it if we can get up over the mountain. That's a waste of time. Why not just go through the tunnel? We can't go in the tunnel. The sign says so. Imagine being scared of a tunnel while well, I'm going in myself. <sighs> I told you there was nothing to worry about. Hey, what's that light up ahead? Huh? It's the train. The train! The train! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think we should go up the hill. Huh? <laughs> Peter? Katie? My suitcase! How on earth did you get here so quickly? A special driverless taxi. Huh? It's huh? very fast. Without it, we never would have made it. Thank you for the suitcase, kids. What would I ever do without you? Bye-bye! <laughs> and now it's time to go home. But please, can we drive home the long way? <laughs> Ready or not, here I come! I see Peter. Huh? And Boris! Huh? And now I know where Bruno is. But that's not fair. If I hadn't sneezed, I could have stayed up there a year before you found me. Oh, come on. When I'm it, the tree is the first place I look. That's because there's nowhere else to hide in the yard. If we played in the woods, I could hide anywhere. You know Aunt Nora won't let us play in the woods. There's nothing wrong with right here. Peter, you're it. One, two, three, four, five. I don't understand. How far could he go? He could have gone into the woods. Remember, he said he could hide anywhere in there. Well, I'm not afraid. It's a piece of cake. Boris, are you sure that you want to go in there by yourself? He's my brother, and I'm going to find him. Somebody help me! Bruno! How could we let Boris go in there alone? We have to do something. And we will, with the Turbozor's help. You've never looked better. <laughs> Guys, we really need your help. Our friends are lost in the woods. Now don't you panic. Ow! Jerry flies to the rescue. Well, I didn't know the woods would be such a big place. I'm tired and so hungry. You're not the only one. So thirsty, too. And I don't know if anyone's ever going to find us. 
I found them. But it's not going to be easy to get to them because on one side is the marsh, and on the other, the gorge. We'll find a way over the gorge. Wow, that is a big gorge. What do we do? You always say that nothing's impossible, so there must be a way over. You see that fallen tree? We're going to turn it into a bridge and get to the other side. Go, go, Turbozors! Thor, you prepare the ground so we can build a bridge. Unky, you go get the tree and hand it over to Chuck. And Chuck, get that tree to the other side of the gorge. I've been working out a lot lately. And how are we going to get across now? I have an idea. What if we build a full-fledged bridge, just like this? Even better, we'll build the bridge on stilts. A bridge, a bridge on, on stilts? stilts. What's, What's better, better than, than that? that? Jerry and Chuck, go look for more tree trunks. Bull, bring those trunks over here. Thor, go get some more ground ready so we can build our bridge. <laughs> How will we know that it's safe to go across? You just let Chuck take care of that. Now we need planks for the bridge itself. Unky, pass the logs to Chuck. He'll cut them into boards and we'll make ourselves a bridge. Don't wake them up. I have an idea. But we're gonna need a sturdy car. <sighs> What's keeping the boys? It's so late. Where have they gone off to? Have you seen the boys? Nothing to worry about. They were hiding, and we searched and searched, and eventually, we found them. Bruno. Boris, you can't sleep on the ground. You'll catch a cold. Where's the swamp? And where's the terrible forest? Uh, just a dream. Let's go. The cake is ready. And bring your friends, because friends are very important. I sleep again? <laughs> We're heading to the city. Would you like to join us? <laughs> A trip to the city? I've never been there before. They say it never sleeps, you know. I'm sorry, Chuck, but you can't go to the city. You're simply too big. Big and rather toothy. <laughs> I might have an idea. Nothing is impossible. If Chuck pretends he's part of the dinosaur exhibit at the museum, then he can come with us. Hooray! I'm gonna be a museum exhibit. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm tired. Chuck, maybe until we reach the city, you can drive yourself? Chuck is busy. He's rehearsing for his debut role. Carry on. Uh, uh, 
something like this? Or like I'm running? No, it won't work. Your eyes are expressionless. <sighs> ah. You can go further. We don't have all day. Look, I can see a car wash. If there's nobody there, you can get something to drink. Oh, oh I am hot. What I wouldn't give for some refreshing swamp water. <laughs> it tickles! Oh, oh, it tickles! <laughs> yup, it tastes fine, but a little too much soap. And here on our right, we have the neighborhood grocery store. And on the left is the post office. And that is a traffic light. Post H. Traffic light. Thank you so much. I would never have seen any of this without you. Keep quiet. <laughs> Looks like they're building a new wing. Here's the museum, but I forgot today is Sunday. Sorry, guys, but the museum is closed. Uh. <sighs> Exhibit for Dinosaur Museum. Do not touch. <laughs> Maybe he's afraid of getting tickled. Well, actually, I'm not afraid of anything. Oh, please forgive me. I forgot to be quiet. It's disgraceful. Uh, uh, talking artifacts that attack innocent people. I'm going to complain about this. Only first, you had better get me out of here. Anki, we need your help, please. <laughs> There's nobody driving, but the crane is moving. Something strange is going on. We're not gonna let that happen. Unky, see if you can hook it. Thor, get supports. Chuck, make sure it doesn't fall. Jerry, keep an eye on the load. Go, go, Turbo Zords! Eh? Heads up, Chuck! Thanks for looking out for me, Jerry. Turbozors, we go on three. All together. One, two, three! A job well done, Turbozors. Time to go home. I'm pretty thirsty again. You think they still have water at the car wash? <laughs> 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 Two, three, four, five, ready, here I come! Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Thor, oh. Bull, Unky, Jerry, Joe, <laughs> Chuck, and Katie. Nice try hiding from me, but I found you. And where is the little one hiding? Florian, where are you? That's one strange looking tree. Children, why are you all the way out here? Why? To play hide uh -huh. and seek. Strange, awfully strange. <laughs> Whose turn is it to be it? I'm going to launch a drone, and that way I can get to the bottom of these mysterious events in our forest. 
Now, uh, which of these buttons do I push? Uh, oh. uh, wait, but where? No! <gasps> there you are. I've been looking for you everywhere. So strange. Where is Jerry gone? Oh, he's not gone. He's just stuck. We've got to find a way to help him. Hold on, Jerry. We're going to get you down from there. So, maybe I just have to change out the battery? Or huh? fix a spring? Or huh? tighten a gear? Or maybe it's all of the above. the trajectory. Uh, uh, uh. Forgive me. I think I have a better idea to free Jerry. Now, if you'll step aside, please. Something in my head is spinning. May I please sit down? This way, if anybody else falls, it won't be so hard. I think I know why nothing has worked for us so far. Because we haven't had any breakfast? Hmm? Because we've only been working alone to save him, not together. And that gives me an idea. Go, go, Turbosaurs! <laughs> Start digging here, but first move the flowers over there. Chuck, bring that over there. And keep it coming, Thor. Thor, clear the space. Dig even deeper, Thor. Unky, we need your help with the cable. We're all set. Let's go, Joe. Pull now! That's not Jerry. And the trees seem to be so much shorter. <laughs> Hey, I've caught the fugitive. <laughs> what are you doing? Playing hide and seek uh -huh. again? Uh-huh. Hmm. Hey! Jerry! You won't believe the story of what happened to me. I'm minding my own business, taking a selfie. You should put it back where you found it. How is the owner going to find it in the middle of the forest? Why don't I make a scan of it for you? That way we can find the owner by their prints. <laughs> Scanning underway. 
And the analysis shows not a single fingerprint to be found. And the estimate age of the coin is 300 years old. Hooray! We found an ancient coin. Why don't we look for more? Suddenly, there are treasures abounding. Hidden treasures! <sighs> so much for finding any real treasure. I disagree. All these items are very old and therefore valuable. Once upon a time, there was an ancient village. And there may be a treasure? It could be. But we should consult a specialist about this. And I happen to be friends with some archaeologists. I can give them a call and see if they'll arrange an excavation. Is it impossible to dig without them? This must be handled very carefully to make sure that we don't damage the antiquities. I'm sure archaeologists have already been there. But we don't know what's still there. Let's go, Katie. Go where? Where do you think? To dig very carefully. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's gonna score. Is he gonna score? Bravo! Hey guys! Huh? We need your help immediately. It's time for a big dig. But what about the ball? We'll find it later, Chuck. But we can't forget to hide the base. Huh? I don't see anything. Joe, will you please go stand over there? Uh-huh. Some lights? Better, but still a little too dark. Unky? That does it. Here's the plan. <gasps> Thor, you take off the top layer. Then Bull will clear away the earth. And Jerry can take a detailed photo. And me? And you, Chuck, have the most important job of all. But I have no artistic talent. This is to thoroughly remove all the dust. We must all work very carefully so that we don't damage anything. Are you ready? Yeah! Go, go, Turbozors! Wasting our time? Not at all, Jerry. Just take a look. Books contain valuable information about our past. We should bring this book back to Grandma and she can show it to her archaeologist friends. <laughs> so, Grandma, tell us what the book said. Don't worry, I'll tell you. But first, you have to finish your casserole. <laughs> It's the best one you've ever made us. Why haven't you ever made this delicious food for us before? Because before, I didn't have the recipe to make it. And what is the recipe? Oh, this is a very old recipe. Our great, great, great grandmothers and grandfathers ate a casserole just like this. And where did you get it from? I got it from a very, very, 
very ancient book of recipes. So that's what it was, a cookbook. I told you, a real treasure indeed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what are you doing? Want to come play soccer? Can't you see we're busy right now? <laughs> and we can't tell you about it. It's a secret. Penalty! You can't carry the ball with your teeth. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, in that case, go really, 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 really long. <laughs> Huh? Ooh. Look, we've built a rocket. But isn't that my grandma's? Her wheelbarrow. But now it's our rocket. <laughs> ah. Nope, not for you. Ooh, can I drive it? No, this rocket takes skill and you don't know how. You're just being selfish. Let's go, you guys. No, we're not being selfish. We're just, you know, erring on the safe side. A commemorative photo to start. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now to go extra fast. Chuck, you're too heavy. It's dangerous in that form. <laughs> Hit the brakes, Chuck! The swamp's up ahead! We forgot to install brakes! Come quick! Chuck fell in the swamp! We must help him! Go, go, Turbozors! A pool floaty! Yeah. Uh, nope, not a pool floaty. We need to work fast. He'll be under soon. Unky, mm -hmm. throw him the rope to pull him ashore. Peter, Katie, grab hold of Unky's rope. Go tie it to that tree. Uh. <laughs> Hang on, Chuck. I'm coming. Throw the hook. Hurry, we know how to help. Thor, let's move. Uh, Unky, pull!
<clears throat> Thanks for getting me out of there, you guys. Turbozors always help a friend in a sticky situation. Every time. Could have eaten two of them, easily. I could eat three. No, no way you could eat three pineapples. I could, with enough time. A week, maybe. Too bad there was only one. It was delicious. Huh? What? Delicious? What now? Pineapple. Our grandma bought one. It's a vegetable or a fruit. Pineapples, mm -hmm. a fruit indigenous to South America, grown in warm climates. Some of us like to read. I want to try a pineapple. Oh, me too. Yeah, we'd like to try. Sorry, there's none left. Where'd it go? We ate it. A tragedy. None for the hungry dinos. I have an idea. We couldn't eat the tip of the pineapple. Maybe if we bury it, we can grow another pineapple plant. Just grow one? Genius! Let's plant one right now! But we can't grow one here. It's not the right climate. <sighs> we'll make the right climate. Huh? It needs heat and lots of water. Wait, we'll build a greenhouse. Huh? Huh? This is the greenhouse of King Leopold II. We'll make that. That's pretty sizable. So what? Mm -hmm. We've got dinosaurs mm -hmm. to help. What about these statues? Oh, Chuck can do that part. He'll make <laughs> a beautiful statue. <laughs> <laughs> Stop fooling around. We don't need statues. <gasps> we'll make this old style, but with modern materials. We'll need metal pipes and some glass and... Where do we get it all? There's a construction site. They finished building a really big place. And I just know there's some debris left over. That's right. Grandma was complaining. She said they'd never clean up their mess. We'll clean it up and make a greenhouse. Yeah. <laughs> go, go, Turbozors! Quite interesting. Interesting indeed. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> Chuck, the frame. Uh -huh. Thor, dig up the ground to prepare the trench. We'll need water to fill the pipes. And those will go into the greenhouse. Go, go, Turbozors! Atta boys, Unky and Bull! Looking <laughs> good, Chuck! And me? I want to do something useful, too. You can be in management. Great! Put it there! Can you give us a better view? Ha. Chuck! Huh? Let's stick those arches in the ground. Thor, connect the trench to the pond. Gotta keep those pineapple plants humid. It looks amazing! Hooray! We did it! Great job, everyone! And the pineapple? When can we grow it? We'll plant it today! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> 
Do you think we could eat the pineapple tomorrow? Yeah? No, Jerry. It takes a while. But I'm ready to try it now. I'll wait here until it's ready. I can wait all day. I hear someone coming. Hide! Hmm. Huh? What's this? How long has this greenhouse been here? Don't know, Mr. Charlie. We just came here and it was already built. But it's empty. You found it? It's a good greenhouse. Hey, someone's growing pineapples in here. I'll bring some tomato seeds. There's lots of space. See you soon. Huh? <laughs> it's my lucky day. We'll get to eat tomatoes and pineapples. But I have no idea what a tomato tastes like. Huh? Huh? Come on out. There's no one around. Oh, wow! Train tracks! Perfect! We can pretend we're trains, and I will be the conductor. Choo-choo! <laughs> no! I'd make a better conductor! Choo-choo-choo! No, I would! Look! Quit playing on the tracks, it's really dangerous. What if a train came? Hey, Unky, where do you think the tracks go? Isn't it obvious? To the other side. The Earth is round. So cool! It's a big music swing! It's not a swing, it's a gate! You shouldn't be on the tracks now! A train is coming! Jerry, it's not safe! Get out of there! You're right! Incoming! <laughs> eh? <laughs> we should ask Katie and Peter if they know where the tracks lead. Florian, it won't work like that. Put it down. Oh. Hooray! I won! I won! See what I mean? Trains go in a circle. <laughs> Real train tracks run from city to city. Look how fast my train is going! No one can beat me! No, mine's faster! Take a look! I'm winning! Huh? Hooray! Huh? No, I told you my train was the fastest! No, Chuck! You cheated! You broke the bridge on purpose! That's not cheating! <laughs> Come on, go apologize. Chuck, you know what you did was cheating. <clears throat> Emergency! Something happened to the real bridge! I didn't do it! <laughs> Look up there! A chunk of the cliff broke off and destroyed the bridge! There isn't time to fix it, so what do we do? <laughs> I know just what to do! Go, Chuck. Another train might be coming soon. We better fix it. Chuck, you take care of the support beams. Thor, we'll need four pits. Unky, you'll pack the gravel. Go, go, Turbozors!
Gary, I'm sorry I cheated. <sighs> it's okay, because I know that in real life, I'm the fastest! <laughs> 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 Are you still coming? I understand. I'll keep waiting. They still can't send me a taxi. The big storm took down a lot of trees, so the roads are all blocked. But I need to be in town and just... <gasps> Florian? Florian! Oh. Katie, Grandma can't be late. We need the Turbozor's help. That storm was just unbelievable. Wind, thunder, lightning, then boom! One tree fell after another. Yeah, now the roads are blocked. Grandma can't get into town. I'll check out the roads. You two go and tell the team. <sighs> Nine trees are blocking the road. One of them's gigantic, and there's a really deep puddle. The river flooded and broke the bridge, so we'll have to fix it. That's a lot of work. We'll need Thor and Chuck. They're still asleep. The sound of rain always makes them tired. We'll have to wake them. Hmm. Thor! Chuck! <laughs> if that thunder didn't wake them up, then you won't. Then what do we do? We need their help to clear the road. I've got it covered. Go, go, Turbozors! <laughs> now that everybody is here, let's go save the day. Go, go, Turbozors! <laughs> Like our friends are still asleep. Huh. Sleepwalking is a dangerous sport. You might want to give it up. No, I wasn't sleepwalking. I was deep in thought. Don't sweat it, Chuck. We're just glad you're here to help. Yum. Thor. Thor. Enough. There's no time for that. Home, home, home. <clears throat> How much time do we have left? Not very much. Her appointment starts soon. Bull, can we go faster? Of course. Turbozors, we've got a job to do. Thor, we need you to saw the trunk. Chuck, can you clear the way? Unky, Joe, we'll go and fix the bridge. We should go get Grandma. Joe, think you could give us a lift? I'll be the fastest and most stylish taxi that she's ever seen. <laughs> It'll take more than that to stop me. You can relax. We'll have the roads clear soon. <laughs> Grandma, do you want to take this driverless taxi? That would be great. But can I drive it myself? This one's special, so yeah. Chuck, replace the damaged support for the bridge.
that them? Chuck, hide! <laughs> really great work, guys. The bridge looks good as new. Thanks. It'll stand a hundred years. Happy birthday, Chuck! May I present a picture from all of us? This time, it's not just a selfie, it's a groupie! <laughs> Happy birthday! Blow out the candle. But before that, you get to make a wish. I do? And then will I get it? Birthday wishes always come true. <laughs> I wish I could learn how to ride on a skateboard. Huh? Just throw the skateboard in front of you, jump on, and then you're riding around. Voila! <laughs> <laughs> Just throw the skateboard in front of you, and then you can jump on and ride around. <laughs> Chuck sure has an unusual riding style. <laughs> Chuck, let's try this slowly and carefully. Uh, hmm. mm. So, how do you think I'm doing, Coach? You're doing very well. If only we had a bigger board. Hang on, that gives me an idea. Here, it will be easier to learn on this. But please be careful not to break it. We'd never hear the end of it from my grandma. Hmm, I've got it. Let's all build a track especially for Chuck. Hooray! Let's build a track for Chuck! Track for Chuck! Track for Chuck! Track for Chuck! <laughs> this is where we'll build the track. I'll clear away the sand, Thor will break the stones, Unky will load and unload, and Chuck, you will build the fence. The challenge is clear. Go, go, Turbozords! Time to try out this track. Where'd she go? Hey, wait for me! <laughs> the track for Chuck is ready. <sighs> ready and really dusty. Achoo! Come on, Chuck! Don't be afraid! You can do this, Chuck! Ha <laughs> <laughs> 
He flips, he turns, and he sticks the landing! Hooray! I can't thank you enough. I always wanted to be a skateboarder, and you made my birthday wish come true. <laughs> wow, huh? look at that. The beauty of it. Incredible. Well done. <laughs> Just so that you're all aware, my birthday is also coming up soon, and it only makes sense to start coming up with my wishes now. But what do I want? A little pony, a big car, maybe a little... Well, hello there, kids. You two look like you just had a wonderful time. We were in an amusement park, and it's called Jungle World. Uh-huh, and everything looks just like the jungle. They even have mechanical elephants and tigers. That gives me an idea. We could build our very own amusement park with dinosaurs, and we could call it Dinosaur World. The idea, of course, is a good one. But where on earth are we going to find mechanical dinosaurs? We don't need mechanical dinosaurs when we've got real dinosaurs right here! <laughs> <laughs> For the construction, we can gather boards from the old barn. Here at the entrance, all of the visitors will be happily greeted by... Chuck! Don't you think I should be at the entrance? Because obviously, I have the most charming smile. Uh, eh? Wait a minute. I think that my smile is pretty charming. <laughs> Stop arguing. I will stand at the entrance. After all, I'm the most polite. Uh, thank you for coming, and I hope you have a nice day. Uh, uh, is that what you call polite? I can be a hundred times more polite than that. You're welcome, please. And have a pleasant evening. Uh, uh, thank you very much. Uh, good morning, and it's very lovely to meet you. Uh, 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 Unky, Thor, uh, uh, we're going to build a giant park. There will be space for everyone. The two of you are so polite, you nearly tore each other apart. I'm the one who should stand at the entrance. After all, I'm the most beautiful. Let's do this. Chuck and Unky, you can build the path and the bridge. Thor and I will work on the cave. Go, go, Turbozords! Today is the grand opening of the Dinosaur World Park, open to all. Please do not feed the dinosaurs as they are mechanical. <laughs> I wonder, who do they think is going to try to feed a mechanical dinosaur? Absurd! Let me remind you that when the guests arrive, we are mechanical dinosaurs, just like a robot. And you, Thor, try not to eat anything. Robots don't eat. What are you looking at me for? I already ate a big lunch and everything. All right then, everything is set. Peter, Katie, open the gates to our park. Welcome to our park. It's Dinosaur World. Hmm? Now, millions of years ago, dinosaurs inhabited our land, and they were enormous creatures, and... And they would eat whatever they wanted. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, but these dinosaurs in the park, they're not the dangerous kind, right? There's no need to be afraid of mechanical dinosaurs. Hmm. Hmm. Huh? <laughs> Whoa, will you look at that? That's a funny bird. Actually, that's not a bird. It's a pterodactyl. Did he call me a funny bird? I've never been so insulted in my life! Huh? 
I don't get it. I've been practicing, and that was my most charming smile. You told me that you had lunch. I did have lunch. Only ice cream isn't lunch. It's, uh, well, it's ice cream. <laughs> Major road work has begun on a large section of Federal oh. Highway. As a result, oh. all roads have significant delays. Peter? <laughs> hey, Grandma, what's going on? I have an awful toothache. It seems like you need to go to the doctor. Uh, I missed the bus, and it was just announced that there's citywide traffic jams. I'd never make it in time. Don't worry about it, Grandma. We'll get you there in time. Uh-huh. Uh. <laughs> That's great. That's great. And that one's not so great. But it's also not so bad. Huh. You have a real gift. Our grandmother needs help. Huh? We have to get to the city fast so she can see a dentist. We can get you there quickly and with style. I can navigate traffic from above. Okay, let's go. What's this? Huh? <laughs> so, heading to the city. My, my. And who will be driving the car? That's a good point. Who will be driving the car? Not to worry, Grandma. This is a self-driving automobile. Modern technology is just amazing. Oh. another route. Follow me! <gasps> what's all this? Well, what seems to be the problem? I couldn't see this from over there. <clears throat> but there's still no problem. We just need to get reinforcements. I told you, Katie. Cars are backed up all over. We can't pass. Oh. Please don't worry, Kay. It'll be all right. Get down. You're going to fall. Uh, uh. 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 We've got problems. Traffic and a gigantic pit and Grandma's tooth. Listen, guys. We need your help. Go, go, oh. Turbozors! <laughs> Bull, first you'll smooth out that pile of dirt. Thor, then you'll dig a trench. Chuck, 
We need you to clear this pipe from the road and stick it in the trench. Unky, we'll need you to place the concrete slabs on the pipe. Let's do it! My dears, my one-of-a-kind honey cake. Hooray! <laughs> that was one spectacular dentist, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My tooth pain is completely gone. That car was just such a delightful shade of pink. Hello? Hello? Are you there? I would like you to send a self-driving car tomorrow. The pink one, please. Hello? Hello? What? I'm bored. So bored. Butterflies are lucky. They fly wherever they want. Even to the city. The city is so much more interesting than the woods. The homes, the people. What's interesting here? Nothing. Want to take a ride through the city with me, Thor? Huh? What? But isn't that dangerous? What could be dangerous? When a traffic light's red, we wait. When it's green, we go. Go, go, Turbozors! <laughs> this must be a new model. Check out this caterpillar track. Look at that! I can't wait to tell Paul about this! morning? That's right. They're not here. I circled the entire woods. Well, if they're not in the woods, maybe... They went into the city? But would they do that? In truth, yes. Unky and Thor always say it's more exciting there. Jerry? On it! The best intelligence comes from aerial surveillance. Anki, with people at a construction site. <sighs> and it gets worse. The workers are driving them. Oh, huh? no, that sure adds a twist. I think I know what happened uh. to them. The workers confused them with their vehicles and drove them to the construction site. We need to save them. But we need to wait for nightfall. The work will have stopped and no one will be able to see us. Go, go, Turbosaurs! Chuck, 
How'd you do that thing with your eyes? I'd love to learn that. When we're done, I'll teach you. Hey, you two! It's time to wake up! <laughs> Jerry, you scared us. And you two huh? scared us. You should be ashamed of yourselves. We're sorry. It's just we were so bored, so we came here, and then things happened so fast. Well, we have a guess about what happened, but why didn't you come back? We can't leave yet. Why can't you leave? Because we have to finish the construction job. The workers are worried about getting it done in time. And if they don't, the children won't have a garden. I might have an idea. It would take a huge amount of work, but nothing is impossible. Uh -huh. Unky, you'll load all the panels. Uh -huh. Bull, you'll drive them closer to the base. Chuck, mm -hmm. you'll secure uh -huh. the panels in place. Uh -huh. Thor, prepare the ground. Mm -hmm. Jerry and Joe, we need you to keep an eye mm -hmm. on the roads and let us know if someone's coming. Go, go, Turbozord! Jerry. Always glad to help. So, what do you need? Go help Chuck put the roof in place. A bit to the left, now the right, and forth, all set. Everybody did a terrific job here. That's what it means to work together and to have fun. <laughs> we make a great team together. But Thor and Unky, you two can't do that again. They took off without telling anyone first. They behaved like little kids. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> we won't do it ever again. <laughs> I'm heading out to the store. You kids keep an eye on Florian while I'm gone. I think he wants to go to the beach. Yeah, we all had a great time there. Mm-hmm. It's too bad the beach is so far away. We can't go. I wish we could. Sorry, Florian. No beach today. Even though we can't go, what if we bring the beach here? And how would we do that? Well, first, we would need a lot of sand. Huh? Check out all this sand! Now all we gotta do is figure out how to get it to Grandma's house. Piece of cake. Go, go, Turbozors! <laughs> Where to? Um. Never fear. You're talking to the world's best surveillance dino. Found it. Let's go. I think that's enough sand. Let's head home. Let's dig here! Oh my! That's quite a sandbox! What do you think, Florian? 
I'm not sure Grandma's gonna be wild about this pile of dirt. I have an idea. Let's turn this into something your grandma would like. Nice! Grandma always wanted a flower bed. Huh? Now all it needs is some flowers. <sighs> Welcome to the beach, Florian. Uh, uh, uh. I don't understand. Why are you still crying? I know. The sea. Beaches aren't beaches without it. Too bad there's no river here. Maybe not, but we can make do. Thor, can you dig a hole right here? No problem. Easy. Little to the left. Bingo! Oh, thanks. I didn't realize you were the digging expert. Ready! I guess the ground is thirsty. How can we waterproof this? We'd need a pool or something. Yeah, too bad you don't have a big square trailer. One that's exactly the same size as the hole you just dug. But what do I know? You're right. We can just use the trailer. Jerry, you're the best. Ha! Come on, guys. Let's set the trailer right in the pit. Uh, yeah. huh? That's some beach. Huh? Huh? That's Grandma's bus. Hide, guys! <gasps> Hi, Hi Grandma. Grandma! Hello, dears. What in the world? I've always wanted a massive flower bed like this. Right now, it's just dirt. It needs flowers. That's not all that's new over here. Check it out! Florian wanted his own private beach. What busy little bees. How did you manage these things? I think someone deserves a treat. Here we go. Ice cream bars. I picked them up at the store. Thanks a bunch, Grandma. <laughs> what? I think he's saying he wants to share his ice cream bar with our dinosaur friends. Right? <laughs> Great idea, Florian. Hmm. Without them, we couldn't have made our private beach today. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> then the handsome bus driver said to your old grandma, that brooch really compliments your skin tone. What brooch? Also, what's a brooch? Oh, gracious. I seem to have lost it. Oh. Don't worry, Grandma. Let's think back. When was the last time you saw it, if you remember? Hmm. Oh. oh. She says the last time she remembers seeing it was leaving the hair salon. She says it was on her shirt. So somewhere between here and there. No, Peter. She went a lot of other places after leaving the salon. Finding it won't be easy. Maybe not. But I bet we can do it. With a little help, of course. she left the salon, our grandma turned the corner here. And I'm pretty sure she would have gone this way to the grocery store, which is right there. Then she called a cab to come home. 
I already called the taxi company. They said they didn't find anything in their car. It's probably somewhere in the city then. We should retrace your grandma's steps, going everywhere she went. We'll start with that. Great. Thor, you can try this corner. Bull, you'll go here. Unky, check out that area. Katie and I will search inside the grocery store. Now remember, guys, keep a low profile around people. And me? What am I supposed to do? Jerry, you're our most valuable pair of eyes. Keep surveillance over the town. We're looking for something really small, so look closely. I have an idea. What if we get Toby to help us out? Maybe he can track Grandma's scent on the brooch. I think he's part scent hound. Sounds good. Any help we can get. Go, go, Turbozoids! Toby, sniff. Something. Our dog's a terrible detective, and he likes hot dogs. What did he find now? Another poor cyclist? Maybe some trash? Peter, he found the brooch! You sure? Nice! Jerry, think you can catch that bird? I only have a hundred million years of experience. She must have been distracted by my charm. I'm too handsome. Oh no! What do we do now? Every problem has a solution. Jerry, go find all the Turbozors. We've got a new challenge to tackle. <laughs> Bull and Thor, we'll need you guys to dig up this drain pipe. Anki, then you can pick it up. Once we get the brooch out, the pipe goes right back in the ground. And Jerry, you can just hang out and stuff. Uh? Go, go, Turbozors! you kids were able to find it. You must have had to trek all over town. Anything for you, Grandma. <laughs> and they all lived happily ever. Huh? Peter, you turn on our show and I'll get the ice cream. Is that okay with you, Grandma? Uh-huh. Huh? Huh. Now why isn't the TV working? And the freezer isn't working either. All of the ice cream has melted. I guess the electricity's out. No cartoons and no ice cream. How are we going to live? 
Well, we'll just have to do things the old-fashioned way. Huh? Uh. I have just the thing. <sighs> what I have here is... A dynamo machine. When you crank it, it generates electricity. So, I am going to see if the neighbors need help with their electric... Choo! No good. It's rusted solid. And we need to be able to turn it hard enough so the light comes on. It won't fudge. What do we do now? We call in the turbozors. That's what... Did someone say turbozors? Huh? <laughs> Best to leave this in the hands of a professional. <laughs> Leave it to the professionals, Jerry. Chuck is right. But Jerry, we need you to fly on a mission to see why all the lights went out. Go, go, turbo source, 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 go, go, turbo source. The electricity went out because a windmill fell over, and then. Why are you all looking at me like that? The wind is so strong, the windmill tilted over. Why does it have that, uh, propeller? It works just like a dynamo machine. Only the wind turns the blades, and they generate electricity. And electricity is what runs the refrigerator, the TV, and turns on all the lights. In order to fix the windmill, we need to first put it back in its place. Chuck, you lift it up, <laughs> we'll help. And Jerry, you wave the flag once it's standing tall. Hmm? Ready? Go, go, Turbozords! Alrighty, lift, lift, now back. Ah! Just checking to see how deep it is. I gotta say, it's pretty deep. What? What? I'm just shooing a bee away. Shoo! Shoo! We have to hook the windmill higher up, and Unky's cable won't reach. I've got what you need. Hooray! We did it! Hooray! Now the city will have electricity again! Set in five minutes and be harder than stone. Not even a hurricane will move. But what should we do about that? Hey. We have to catch it. Turbozords, follow that coil. <gasps> I still think electricity is a powerful and rather useful invention. Grandma. We cranked up the dynamo, but the lamp still won't turn on. Why is that? Oh, it seems that bulb burned out about a hundred years ago. Alina, <laughs> <laughs> my beloved nephews, Boris and Bruno, are missing. 
Maybe they're just out playing in the woods. But they could be lost in there. Oh, I'm sick with worry. There's no need to worry, Aunt Nora. We'll find them. <laughs> huh? Huh? Stunning. Huh. Enchanting. The queen of the forest. We need your help right away. Will you please help us find Boris and Bruno? Just look at this photo shoot. Don't get sidetracked. Our friends need you. This master scout is on the job. They're on a road in the forest. Can we catch up with them? You can consider them already caught. Next stop, the forest! Wait, they left without me. Can't slow down. Aunt Nora thinks you're lost. But we left her a note that says we're taking a trip around the world. And as soon as we circle the whole Earth, we'll be back immediately. What do we do, Peter? I have a plan. Nobody can rest until we get Boris and Bruno to return home. But how? It seems they don't want to go back home. Every problem has a solution. Now, here they are. Bull and Thor, I want you to dig a big hole up ahead so they'll think there's road work. Uh. Boris and Bruno will have to turn here, where they will be met by a blockage of fallen trees. A blockage courtesy of Chuck. I love to set up blockages. Just don't forget to remove them when we're done. What if I just left a twig or two? Hmm. <clears throat> to bypass the blockage, they'll have to go down to the ravine. And who's gonna make the ravine? Nobody. Nature already made it. That was awfully nice of nature to dig a ravine so that we didn't have to. In order for them to climb out of the ravine, we need to build a new road. I nominate Thor, Bull, and Unky. Go, go, Turbozors! Huh? Huh? It looks like a dead end. You think we've reached the end of the whole world? Bruno, if we had traveled around the entire world, we would be back home already because the Earth is round. Now follow me. I don't want to travel around the world anymore. I'm tired. I want cake with cranberries. The sooner we travel around the world, the sooner we can have lunch. Let's go. How will we ever be able to get out of here? Don't be afraid. We'll come up with something. It's a road! Huh. Well, I told you we'd think of something. Huh? <laughs> Hooray! We're home! <laughs> Where have you been? I was so worried! <laughs> Aunt Nora, we just traveled around the entire world. <laughs> And it's not nearly as big as we thought it was. Nonsense. The Earth is incredibly large. Look, 
This is a model of our Earth called a globe, and it's impossible to bike across the entire Earth, boys, because on the way, you will come across not only the mountains and deserts, but also the oceans. So you're saying we didn't travel across the whole Earth? I don't think so. Unless, of course, you flew around it like a bird or a plane or maybe a spaceship. I could do it. And I could do it, too. <laughs> You make a delicious cranberry cake. Eat to your heart's content. I'm so grateful you found my nephews. What do they have to do with it? We're the ones who came home on our own. Yeah, let us eat cake. <laughs> You're both hard at work. So, what are you drawing? A big theater. And a dance show. Grandma, when's the last time you've seen one? Not for a long while. Mr. Charlie and I used to go all the time, but we don't get out to see shows anymore. But why not? Peter, let's put on a dance show for the two of them. Great idea. We could show them all the dancing that we've been learning at school. But where should we perform it? We'll need to find some kind of theater space. Let's build one. And I know who can give us a hand. Who hmm. could that be? <laughs> but I don't know anything about theater. And I do not know anything about dancing. And I know even less than these two. How can we help? <clears throat> it's just like a movie, only it has live actors. And a stage instead of a screen. So let's work together and build a theater. I think I just found the perfect location for a theater. It's not all that far from Mr. Charlie's house. It's out in the woods, and it even has some abandoned logs that are covered with a tarp and are still in a good condition. Everything about it sounds perfect. Hooray! Go, go, Turbo Zords! thing we should do is clear this whole area. I'm on it. Let's do it. Don't forget that we need to leave space for the audience. Great work. Unky, why are you just standing there? Take those logs and set them up according to this diagram, please. Uh -huh. <laughs> Easy now. Those logs should all be aligned. Wow. Jerry, you're quite a prompter. There's no need for name calling, Katie. <laughs> Don't be offended. A prompter is an important job in the theater. They sit in a special hidden place and whisper instructions to the performers. Yes! I think I was born to be a prompter. So where will my special place be? I can't wait to start prompting everyone. Uh, almost. Ah. Oh my, a theater. Joe, how, how do you, you know about, about the theater? theater? My dears, of course I know about the theater. Since I was little, I have longed to be a grand diva. Pardon me, Joe, but just what is a diva? The most important artist. Huh? I've got it. Now I know exactly what I should call myself. I am the diva of all prompters. <laughs> That's enough. Grandma and Mr. Charlie will be here soon, and we're not ready. Right, we can't let them see the Turbozors. Listen, everyone, it's time to go and hide. But we don't want to leave the theater and hide. We want to be able to see the show, too. Luckily, I know just what to do. Hmm. <laughs> Peter, Katie, cover us up with the tarp. You can tell Mr. Charlie and your grandmother that we're extra sets on wheels. <sighs> You can watch the show from under here. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I can't see a thing. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> there. Great. So sit quietly and enjoy the show from here. Thor, let's switch places. 
then we can all see through the eye holes. What's really under the tarp? you become. That was really something to see. I think I'll run home now. I want to make something special to celebrate your performance. I'll go help her. <sighs> that dancing was so awesome. I am so impressed. You two have real talent. I could never do that. I may be the diva here, but right now, you two are the stars. Well, I was <laughs> disappointed. There was absolutely nothing for me to whisper. You two didn't make a single mistake. <laughs> <laughs> For an evenly distributed tan, expose your whole body. You're evenly blocking the whole sun. Nothing is being distributed on me but a bunch of sand. But how could I block out the sun? Chuck, please stop looking at the sun. Have you completely forgotten what happened the last time? What exactly happened last time? Hi, Jerry. Good job burying yourself in the sand. Today would be great for swimming. Too bad we don't have a big diving board, though. If we swam here, we would need a rescue tower and a lifeguard in case someone needed help. Hey, guys! I'll be lifeguard. I'll climb the tower and huh? keep lookout. Help me! Help me! Fear not! There's no need to panic because... <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> it seems our lifeguard needs a lifeguard. <laughs> For your information, I always start rescues lying down. It's settled. Let's work together and build two towers. One will be for diving, the other will be for rescuing. We need to do a really good job. That way, people from the whole city could swim here. Then I better get ready to rescue them all. What should we use to build the towers? I say we build them out of stones and fallen trees. That way, we'll clean the forest too. Go, go, Turbozors! Bull and Chuck, gather the stones. Thor and Unky, you'll gather the trees. Then we'll convert them into logs. Jerry? My job will be to make sure that everybody is working safely. Listen up. Who knows the most important part of both a rescue tower and a diving board? <laughs> the very most important part of a rescue tower is the lifeguard. Well done, Jerry. So then for a diving board, it has to be the diver. Not quite, Chuck. Huh. What is a diving board's most important part? Water. <laughs> <laughs> Attention swimmers, there's no swimming past the buoys, and no matter what, no one is allowed to sneeze. The 
jumping board is super high. Who is jumping first? Uh, right now I really need some exercise. Uh, same with me. <laughs> I'll show you what to do. Watch closely. And that's how it's done. We can do that too, you know. Right, Thor? Uh, right, Anki. But maybe Chuck should go before us, or Bull. But we're way too big. You guys ought to go first. There's nothing to fear because Jerry the lifeguard's here. Well, thank you, Jerry. I guess it's better than nothing. Anki, I need you to be sure to let me know when we get to the top. I'm going to keep my eyes closed. I closed my eyes at first, too, but then I remembered that we're powerful turbosaurs. Right, Thor? Uh, uh, you're right. It's not that bad with your eyes open. Come down. You don't have to jump. But we turbosaurs are not afraid of anything. Uh -huh. Just count to three for us. And one, two, two three! three. Oh! Ah! Guess what, guys? I filmed it all. That was totally amazing. Aw, I'm glad they're safe, but I really wanted to rescue someone. It's a pity that none of us need help with swimming. Climbing might tire us out, and if so... Then I can save you, right? Huh? 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 Hmm. Nice one. Hmm. I'm bored. What's everyone up to? Yep. <laughs> Good move, Chuck. You just might beat me at my own game today. Oh, cool. Did I win yet? Usually, it takes more than one turn. <laughs> Pick the knight! Go! Your move! Yeah. Remember, Peter, a goalie's job is to never get distracted! What? Like that! <sighs> I told you! You ruined both soccer and chess, Jerry. Those games are dumb. I'm bored and don't want to do either of those. Jerry, I know what you could do. <gasps> it's an old radio from my grandma's attic. Mm -hmm. Look here. And later this afternoon, we yeah. should see some scattered clouds uh, come in, but no rain. Downtown, we've got a traffic jam uh, leading up the South uh, Expressway. Uh, Drivers are encouraged uh, to take a detour see? to the South Expressway. Now you can hear what's going on in town. Is your hair thinning? I've got just the thing for you. Well, check we should probably go check in with our grandma. Play soon? We got a bottle airplane. And Aunt Nora wants to try this thing out. Hmm. Oh. Ah. Remember, kids, when trying something new, read the instructions first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, got it. Boris, turn it on. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> It's not working. Is it broken? Aunt Nora, you might need to release it. What? <laughs> <laughs> Boris, let your Aunt Nora see those controls. I'm the one who read the instructions. <laughs> Looks like it's gone. Don't worry, we'll find your plane. Hmm. 
Come. Hey, where did Jerry go? We have an important mission for him. Looks like it's gonna be another scorcher, folks. With oh, does scorcher mean something other than fire? I know lots of baseball sun, scores sun. now. Oh. oh, that beeping's new. That's a weird signal. It sounds like an SOS. SOS is a distress call. It means someone needs help. I bet it's a huge plane. Maybe it's in the storm. What should we do? We should build a safe place to land. <laughs> the plane's almost here. Thor, uh, let's clear the field of rocks and stuff. Both, you can level the ground. Uh -huh. Chuck, you can help pave the runway. <laughs> Anki, uproot any tree stumps. Joe, your headlights will make great runway lights for the landing strip. Go, go, Turbozors! Here, I see the plane. What's this thing? It's the plane, a toy. Thank you both so much. How did you find it? We just looked all over, with help from friends. <laughs>talking about i don't have four drum sets come on keep the timing right whatever five six seven eight peter do you think that boris and bruno will ever become famous drummers like they want to well nothing's impossible oh what are you guys doing berry picking want to come with no can do. We're working on our hit single. I don't want us to get lost. Should we turn back? Huh? Peter, listen. It's a creek. Too bad it's so far from Grandma's house. Huh? Not that far. Hmm. We must have made a giant circle. The houses are over there. On that side of the creek. Huh? Hmm. Uh. Uh.
careful not to disturb the plants, too. This area has a lot of pretty ones. Yeah, you're right. This will be a real nature trail. <laughs> All this talk of a nature trail makes me feel like dancing. Oh. <laughs> Go, go, Turbozords! You want a commemorative photo? Not really, Jerry. Thanks for offering to help me out here. Uh, uh, oh. <sighs> this nature trail is looking great. Well done, guys. We're not done yet. I've got labels. What a positively whimsical plant. It's carnivorous. It's sticky inside, so it can catch flies. When uh -huh. bugs smell the flower, the plant just eats them up. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh. <laughs> no, you're a lot bigger than a little bug. This plant would never be able to eat a dinosaur. Good work. The nature trail is open for business. Excellent work, everybody. You guys are the best friends ever, because we couldn't do it alone. I can't wait to drink some fresh spring water. What a nice surprise. Oh, I never knew such interesting plants were around here. I wonder who did all this. Hmm. I wish I knew of this spring earlier. This lovely cold water is just so refreshing. Huh? Look! Huh? Mm, mm. Uh, this world's full of the unknown. Like, I wish I knew how to play the drums, but oh well. Are you ready to pick the mushrooms? And berries, too? <laughs> you two go on without me. I fear I'm a bit too tired for an adventure today. <laughs> but it looks like the little one's all ready to go. <laughs> Peter, why don't we deliver the mushrooms and berries we pick to the people in town? Because most of them don't have time to go to the woods. Great idea. And why don't we ask the Turbozors for help? Let's go! Fantastic! You can count on the Turbozors all the way. Right, guys? Mm -hmm. <laughs> then let's go pick some mushrooms and berries. Can you believe it? There's enough to feed the whole city! Check out this cool-looking mushroom I found! I wanted to eat it, but of course I didn't because it's not for me. First of all, Jerry, the fly agaric is not for eating. And second, we need to build a warehouse to store and keep our harvest safe. Good idea, Bull. But first, I think we should make a building plan. This will be the conveyor belt. This will be for packaging, and this will be for loading. Everyone clear? All clear. This is where you all come in. We're going to need logs, rocks, and tree branches. Chuck and I will build the foundation. <laughs> Thor and Unky, you build the walls and the roof. Uh -huh. <sighs> go, go, Turbozors! An 
in the meantime, we'll keep watch over the mushrooms so that no one even thinks about eating them. Very impressive warehouse, everyone. And now, we can move on to packaging, and before you know it, we'll be ready for delivery. But how will we get them to everyone in town? Not to worry, Katie. That's a task for Jerry and Joe. Enough already! How will we carry them all? I said that's too many! What are you thinking? You can't be serious, Jerry. The baskets need to be filled to the brim. Yes, but I'm the one who has to fly to town and carry that heavy load. Let's see who gets there first. Good luck, guys! We believe in you! Ah, la 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 Ha! It looks like I'm way ahead of Joe. Plenty of time to rest for a refreshment. What happened, Jerry? Do you need help? Oh, no, no! I'm just checking to make sure that none of these mushrooms are the fly agaric! But you know that the fly agaric is red with white polka dots. Now, Catch up. Uh, so much for being ahead. Uh, 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 wait, wait for me! Mushrooms and berries? From the woods? Oh, what a nice surprise. Thank you. Ah. Huh. Shoo, shoo! Don't you know I'm in a rush? Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. <sighs> it's a miracle. It's raining mushrooms. That's no miracle. It's the fast and reliable delivery of forest gifts from me to you. Enjoy yourself. I've got to rush to get home before Joe does. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. I confess, I was rushing to beat you home, and look what happened. No one loves to race more than I do, but sometimes it's better if you take your time. When you do a job, don't rush and make sure you do everything carefully and correctly. Now, let's go home. When I thought I was rid of all my caterpillars. Oh, the horror! Your caterpillars are eating all my raspberries. <sighs> and what makes you think that these are my caterpillars? Oh, because you just said you thought you were rid of your caterpillars. Uh -oh. Okay, kids. I need you to run to the store to get a remedy for the caterpillars while I take a little <gasps> nap. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine all those caterpillars taking over like that? And then the neighbor jumps in and screams, Oh, the horror! Oh, the horror! So you're saying the caterpillars are scary, but the neighbor's an even bigger uh -huh. horror? Can you imagine? There's a caterpillar curse! Not to worry. 
We heard all about it from Jerry. Mm-hmm. Hop in. We'll go to the store to get a remedy for the caterpillars. I think maybe I'll join you. Hooray! We're off to get the remedy! That gives me an idea! <laughs> Oh! Are we here already? Where's the store? I think maybe I'm due for a paint job. Red is totally in. Are you trying to drench me in every pool of water we pass? No, I think that blue is more my color. My mommy always told me I shouldn't remove anything from our world. It's very dangerous, you know. But there's no danger here. Besides, this is the best thing in any world to get rid of those pesky caterpillars. I think it needs water. One crazy dream. Can you imagine? There's, there's this enormous. What? Not the caterpillars again. The other remedy ate the fence. What other remedy, Unky? <laughs> <laughs> You must really be hungry. And get a load of the angle on this one. Now that's what I call talent. That plant is a predator. For people in this world, it is very dangerous. We must dig it up and take it back immediately. Go, go, Turbozords! Chuck, you hold him by the branches. Unky, you hook him and wrestle him to the ground. Thor, you dig up the roots. Nothing is impossible! We have to save the little one! Jerry, make sure this plant gets put back where it belongs. Uh -huh. We need to stay here and mend the fence before Grandma wakes up. <laughs> this rain's never gonna stop. It might just become an ocean and make our house a boat. The weatherman said it shouldn't last long today. At that, sun! Hooray! Whoa, wait, check out this selfie Jerry posted.
interested. Look! Eh, not his best angle. I think he's asking us for help. Look, his wings are caught in the logs. He looks worried. Oh, he could be trapped. We have to go save him. It looks like he's in the lake in the forest. He could drown. We need to go, fast. <laughs> Hiya, guys. Huh? Uh, uh, What's the rush? To help Jerry. Hurry, we'll explain on the way. Jerry, what happened? I was taking some artsy shots of the rain and everything, and, well... Next thing you know, I'm a little over my head. Wings, rather. I have a plan. We need a way to get the water out. We'll dig a channel. Huh? The water will flow out, and then you'll be free. Mm hmm I'll run and get the rest. Katie and I will run and get the others to help. Thor and Chuck will stay here with you. We don't need to wait for everyone. We know how to dig stuff. Oh, oh. Hey, you're right. Digging holes is easy. <laughs> Hurry, help. We messed up. We tried making a channel, but it got worse. We thought the water would flow out, but it went the wrong way. We were supposed to dig in the other direction so the water flows away. Water follows the laws of gravity, guys. See? If the water is higher, it'll flow into Peter, someplace... Peter, no time for science class! We have to save Jerry! Here's the plan. Bull and Thor, block the channel. Quick! Poor Jerry's head is almost underwater! A rescue today would be nice! Go, go, Turbozors! Peter, what can I do? Help Unky with the logs. You can use them to strengthen the dam. The water stopped. Hooray! We saved you. Are you sure? Every cloud has a silver lining. Yes, like the rain clouds that caused this. Now that that's done, let's dig another channel on the other side to drain the water downhill. Let's go! Wait! Here's the plan. We need to rebuild the area with logs. And when we dig, make sure it reaches the lower pond. That pond is downhill, so it'll drain. Got it? Uh -huh. Well then, go, go, Turbosaurs! Now over there. Nice. It's ready. Now all we have to do is move the partition. Can I do it? Please. Hm. It's a wonder what we can do with water and gravity. I'm saved. Uh, huh? huh? Know what I want to do? Selfie time with my heroic friends! Oh no! Not more rain!
Want to try it? I know you'll have a good time, Chuck. You really think that I could? You want to try and park that thing? Maybe for everyone else's sake. I'm trying. <laughs> oh. Uh, uh, uh. That hurts, Chuck. Oh, I'm sorry, Thor. These buttons are really small, and I have giant hands. Uh, I'm afraid uh, we dinos just aren't suited to play with race cars, Peter. But I wanted to play a racing game. Uh, uh, hang on. We're all giant vehicles. Why don't we all have a real race? Uh, uh. How do you expect to have a race in the woods? And furthermore, we can't be on the highway. I got it. We could just build our own track here. Yeah. Ah. I think there's enough room to build a track here, but it'll take some work. Here, look. It's okay if the track curves, but we'll have to clear out a bunch of rocks and plants and stuff. What do you mean, clear out plants? There's some great plants here. Don't tell me you'll move them. Lily of the Valley? Lily who? It's a flower in this field, even though they aren't blooming. It's an endangered flower here. So they're rare, like super rare. We have to protect nature, Peter. We'll figure something out to save them. We can transplant the Lily what's-her-face with soil. Bull, can you uproot the stumps? Mm-hmm. And Unky, can you help move them? Uh-huh. Thor, you can break up the soil to prepare for the road. Uh -huh. Joe, use your big tires to flatten the path. Hmm. Chuck, you and Katie can help move the flowers. <sighs> and Jerry? Jerry? Hmm. Jerry can nap. What for? Because this is your racetrack. I don't have wheels the way the rest of you do. I can't even race with you all. You can be the judge then. Really? The judge? That sounds important enough for me. I'll do it! Go, go, Turbozors! On your marks, get set, go! Uh, uh, would have been first if I hadn't been shoved off the track. But you shoved me off too. It'd be easier if I had wheels or treads. What do you mean, Chuck? Huh? You won because it's easier for you to win. I judge you all lose. I thought this would be a fun and fair fight today. I don't know. It's difficult because we all have such different skills. Oh man, I'm sorry. But how do we make it fair? I know. There's a really simple way to make this more fun. Let me think. You can do it as dinosaurs. Sound good? On your marks, get set, and we're off! Well, of course Chuck would win. He's got the longest legs of us all. <laughs> Oh. Uh, Chuck, are you okay? 
Never better. Let the race go on. Huh? Looks like everyone won. What a great race that was. By the way, don't you think we should have some sort of aerial race next? With a wonderful prize for the winner? Yes? <laughs> Why are you all laughing? And don't you think it'd be fun? <laughs> Three, two, one! What are you all doing? It felt like there was an earthquake. Peter, it's a jumping contest, not an earthquake. Long jump contest. More like deep jump. What if you three had your contest somewhere else? Maybe in the forest? Better not, Katie. What about the ravine? Ravine? What ravine? Is it deep? Uh-huh. It's very deep and very dangerous. Huh. Where are you both going? We're going to have a look! We'll be quiet this time. <laughs> Finally we're getting serious, huh? Give up, Unky! In your dreams. Ready? Three, two, one! <laughs> Huh. Landing that way didn't hurt? Like not even your tummy? I have a tummy of steel. Sliding on it doesn't hurt at all. Huh? Are they setting a new concrete road? Nope. I'm setting a new world record. But what if the workers come back? We'll worry about that when they come back. Wow, that's quite a long way to jump. And a long way to fall. Uh-huh. A long way to fall. Ha! <laughs> Someone scared. Yeah, scared for you. You're the one who never knows how to break. I don't know how to break? Huh? Ah. That's it. Challenge accepted. Three, two, one. Wait a minute. I changed my mind. Like I said, Thor is afraid. I believe that you can make it, Unky, but we really shouldn't. Ah. Oh yeah! Who's the champion? How you gonna get down, Mr. Champion? Uh, uh, there isn't enough space to gain the speed I need. <laughs> but your world record! I think I'm stuck, Thor. You have to get me down from here! Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> Too high! Can't reach! Take this! <laughs> no, that's not gonna work. Oh, my plan's not gonna work. I think I found us a better plan. Plans for the road. <laughs> and how does that help us? Nothing is impossible, Jerry. If Unky can't get across the unfinished road, then we will just... Lie him down? Finish the road! How could we have not thought of that? Go, go, Turbozors! Done in record time! 
you followed those instructions exactly, right? Don't worry, Anki. We did everything by the plan. Three, two, one! Uh, say hello to your champion! Ooh, we! The new road we built is very smooth. You want to race, Anki? Maybe chess could be fun? Nah. Uh... <laughs> ah. Well, Thor, want to jump? Let's go! <laughs> but first, let's finish building the bridge. What are you guys so busy with? Just some spring cleaning. Our grandma's gonna let us go to the movies because we finished all our chores. Really? I wanna come. We've never been to the movies. We've cleaned enough today. I say we should take a break and go to the movies with you. Okay, but what about Chuck? Won't they notice him? I have a brilliant idea. I'll keep watch and yell out a warning if it looks like our cover's about to get blown. Hooray! Go, go, Turbozors! Movies! skills. Hi, kids. Are you going to the outdoor movie? You guys better hurry up now. Don't want to miss the trailers. Yeah, she's right. We'll miss the trailers. What's a trailer? Tickets left. Sold out. Oh, early bird gets the worm, I guess. Or the movie tickets. <laughs> Quick, go hide! <laughs> hmm? Hmm? Oh my, what impressive marketing they've done here. Hey, come look! By any chance, see a, a huge truck past that wall? Uh, or something? Huge truck? Over that wall? Mm, it looked like it was watching the movie. <sighs> we wanted to go, but we didn't get to see anything at all. Don't give up hope just yet. Follow me. I have an idea. This 
used to be something really interesting, the drive-in theater. People would sit in their cars to watch the movie. After the movie theater was built downtown, people stopped coming. But we can rebuild it. Clearly, one movie theater isn't enough. And if the audience is all cars... Brilliant! I see what you're getting at. In our car forms, we'll be able to watch the movies here and not have to hide. First things first. We'll remove the debris, plan a layout, and clear the area. Then we'll make a screen. Any questions? Go, go, Turbozords! that spot right there. Thanks, guys. This looks amazing. Now it's time to be an audience. Doing. I need something original. <sighs> well, maybe you can just find a new photo subject. Huh? Checkmate. Let's back up. If at first you don't succeed, you just try again. Checkmate. Again? This is hard. What should we do next? Anything. Originally, Katie and I wanted to ride on the Ferris wheel today. But it's not open yet, so we have the whole day free. Ferris what? What's a Ferris wheel? It's a real tall ride at the carnival. And you get amazing views. Views? I have a great idea. Joe! Hmm. We should get a photo on that Ferris wheel, Joe. Hear me out. It's the photo I've been waiting for. If you go up in that Ferris wheel, just for a little while, I can see it now. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a majestic Joe! Sorry, Jer. I don't feel like it. Joe! It'll be so unique and cool! Don't you want to help me out? Eh? I'm already unique and cool, and I'm afraid there's nothing you can do to persuade me. Hmm. What are we waiting for? Hop in! Let's go while the lighting's good! Look, you can stick your head out the top! Jerry, do you know how to run this thing? It only goes one direction. How hard could it be? You set? I think you're ready. Mm -mm -mm. Blast off! It's beautiful. I can see the whole town. All ready? Say cheese, Joe. Uh, what's going on? Why did it stop? Uh, don't panic. I'll be right back. Jerry, hurry. I'm nervous. It won't move. It's stuck or something. Whoa. Oh. Eh? Hmm. Oh! Jerry, just who do you think you are? An amazing photographer and genius. And humble to boot. I'll hold that thought, though. I'll go get help. Don't move around too much. I don't like this, Boris. We shouldn't uh, go in yet. Fine, I'll go in myself. But it's closed. Can't we just wait? <laughs> Did you hear that? Someone shrieking. It's the wind. No one else is even here. We'll get Joe back safe and sound. Chuck, try and hide yourself when we go into town. Bull, take him on the trailer. Katie, let's go together on our bikes. Go, go, Turbozords! Huh? Huh? 
Well, anyone have any good ideas? It seems simple. Let's just spin the wheel until Joe is back on the ground. Hey, we got company. Boris and Bruno. Don't panic. Jerry, hide. Bummer. Guess we're not alone here. What are you nerds doing? We were debating something. You think you can do this maze in under an hour? Well, duh, of course. You want to bet you can do it? The clock's ticking, you two. How'd you come up with that? Bull, make a level platform for Chuck. And Chuck will need your help with the Ferris wheel. Thor and Unky, you have a more special job. We need you to keep Boris and Bruno stuck in the maze. Move walls around, hide the exit, that kind of thing. All right, team. Go, go, Turbo oh, Zord. Don't mess up anything worse than you already have, OK? I don't get it. I feel like we've been to this part before, but it looks different or something. Uh, a front loader? Hooray! Joe, I'm glad you're okay, but just look at these shots! Yeah? Yeah, really! No luck? Told you this maze was hard. It's fine, follow us. We know the way. <laughs> Easy on the propellers! Hey, I'm a very fragile dinosaur lady! Look, if I had wings, I... Ready for the race? Wow! What kind of race? The obstacle race, of course. The winner gets to take the Turbozor's cup. Bull, Chuck, Bull again, wow. and here's Joe. She's a four-time wow. champ. Wow! Even Thor is here, and Jerry too. Uh, that was a long time ago. Since I'm no longer racing, I watch the race from the air. And where is Anki? His name isn't here. Unky isn't there because he's never won the race before. Yeah, Unky has no luck. Unky says he doesn't want to participate in the race anymore. And besides, he doesn't have any wheels. You're absolutely right. He doesn't have wheels, he has tracks. He can't drive as fast as all of you. Well, I don't have any wheels either. And I was able to win just using my feet. You can't compare with him, Chuck. It takes him 10 steps for every one of yours. Remember, this is a race. The fastest wins and all that. Wait a minute. What about your friendship? Tell me, Joe, how many times has Unky told you, huh? And Thor, when you fall into the river, who pulls you out? So what should we do? I've got an idea, Bull. Again with this race? Every year it's the same thing. I'm bored. Hey, Unky. Hey, yourself. Why are you here all alone? Everyone is waiting for you. Yeah, well, I... Unky, come on. What could they do without you? Who is the smartest? Unky, who always rescues everyone. Unky! Yes, yes, yes. Before the route was easier, but now you have to be able to think. I, for one, think you have a really good chance. Oh, I don't know. You are, in fact, very fast and agile. But I only have tracks, Katie. And all of them, they have wheels. By the way, tracks can be very useful, especially off of the road. Hmm. <laughs> Okay then, there will be a sharp turn behind the old oak tree, so be careful. And then the pits and the bumps begin, so be sure to keep an eye out. All participants, get ready! Go, go! 
Zords! Anki, come on! Step on the gas! You do have a whole year before the next race, so start training. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing! Chuck, you're like a real pro soccer player! If we had another goal, then I could really show off all of my skills on the field. <laughs> While all of you have been over here having fun, I spotted three... Three people with giant bags, and they're headed this way. Giant bags? Yes, they had huge giant bags. They carried them on their backs. It's probably just some tourists, tourists with backpacks. Well, let's go, team. We can't let them see us. Huh? Jer, what have you done? Why is this my fault? I was tired and sat down to rest. These stones have been broken for 500 years. Huh. We have to move that stone and quick. No, but we don't have any time. These, uh, these, uh... Tourists. Uh, yes, tourists. They're so close. I've got a plan. We'll distract them. Chuck, I'm going to need your help. Follow me. Do we need the ball? <laughs> no, I need another one of your talents. <laughs> In the meantime, we've got to fix the base. Turbozors, go! How much further is it? We're real close. There's a clearing through the trees up ahead. We can set up camp for the night. Huh? Huh? Anything we need to worry about in this forest? Any bears? Wolves? <laughs> no, no. It's absolutely safe. Chuck, when they get closer to us, roar as loud as you can. You know what to do. <laughs> Scare them out of the forest. I'm a little out of practice roaring. But I'll do my best. Let's go! <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
Uh, uh, bears, wolves, uh, raccoons! Uh, 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 <laughs> Chuck, that was brilliant. You're so good at everything. And so modest, too. Now we'll definitely have the time to fix the base. That wasn't my best. Maybe I took some roaring lessons. <laughs> It's not coming out. Let me give it a try, Bull. Ugh. No good. I can't get my hooks around it. I'm going to crush the stone into a bunch of smaller rocks. <laughs> 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 The boulder is just too strong. What do we do? We've managed to distract the tourists for a bit, huh? but they could get here any minute now. We have to figure out something, and fast. I know what we could do. Let's make a lever. Like this. We need a strong log. We put one end of the log under the stone and push on the other end as hard as we possibly can. Mm. I saw a fallen tree nearby. That could work nicely. Chuck, follow mm. me. I'll show you. <laughs> Maybe we just go back. We press on. We need to know what creature made that sound. Maybe we'll discover a new species. I uh -huh. think it's Sasquatch. Huh? Uh -huh. Chuck, push down that log. <laughs> I spot tourists! <laughs> Hurry, they're getting closer! Bull, Chuck needs help! Well, that's that. Thanks for the help, friends. Of course, Bull. We're a team, after all. Hello there! Kids, you wouldn't happen to have heard some strange mm -hmm. sounds recently. They were coming from this direction. Huh? An awful, terrible, loud roar from a wild predator. Hello? Wild predator? Don't have any of those here. Our forest is perfectly predatorless. Loud roar? I understand. We were playing tag, Stone Age style. Peter was the saber-toothed tiger, and I was the cavewoman hunter. Hm. <laughs> and you thought it was some bear, raccoon, saber-toothed tiger. <laughs> huh? hmm? Monkey, now it's your turn. Hmm. Nice try. Maybe next time around. Uh. You wouldn't even let me compete because it would be unfair. I would soar. I would soar, soar, I tell you. That's why you can't. <laughs> Joe is in the lead. Her jump was the farthest. And most graceful. Your turn, Chuck. Uh, uh, Chuck, where are you going? You gonna jump? If I'm going to beat Joe, I'm gonna need a running start. I think we should get out of the way for safety. Sure is something else. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> A new record! <laughs> Chuck, are you okay? <laughs> totally okay. I only got hurt once when I was a hatchling. I was young. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great jump, Chuck. You look like a pterodactyl soaring through the air. That competition was so fun. <laughs> We're doomed. We're doomed. Think back. Where could you have lost the medallion? I don't know. I had it this morning. This is serious. We're going to need our friend's help. Jer, call Katie and Peter. And we'll continue the search mm -hmm. here. Thor, Unky, wake up. Uh, uh, huh? Thor, check out the other end of the clearing. Chuck, your height will help us see everything from above. Uh, Double time, let's go. Peter! <laughs> Katie, emergency! It's horrible. We really need your help. Chuck went and lost his medallion. What are we gonna do? Lost his medallion? Big deal. I lose my hair ties, bracelets, and bows all the time. Yeah. Let's make a new medallion. I wish it were that simple. Follow me! Each of our medallions are keys that allow us to open the base. Anyone who doesn't have a medallion will be unable to get in. And Chuck lost his medallion! What are we gonna do? He can't go in after them? I don't get it. Chuck, show them. We can't leave him here all alone outside at night. And we don't abandon our friends when they're in trouble. Besides, no human can see him. That'd be horrible. Every problem has a solution. I've got a plan. First, we'll disguise Chuck. Then the others will go to the base. We'll figure out the rest tomorrow. I hope this won't hurt. We'll need lots of stones, branches, and twigs. We can find all of them in the woods. Go, go, Turbo Doors! Go sit down under the tree. Let's build that disguise. And now, the finishing touches. Heads up. Now we all head home. Tomorrow, we'll figure out what to do. Chuck, stay still. Well, it's morning. You think of anything? Not yet. Mm, you? Me neither. And what is that? Huh? Oh! Grandma always told us sleep solves everything. <laughs> but where? Where did you find it? All of us looked everywhere. It turns out Florian found it. <laughs> and took it home in his backpack. Huh? Wow, look at that! Where's Chuck? <laughs> 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 Hold on to that. Try not to lose it. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Because of you, I slept like a log. to bother you, but is there any way you can go next door to ask Mr. Charlie if he needs help? He's been working on something all morning. Yeah, no problem, Grandma. Whoa, what are you making, Mr. Charlie? Well, 
more like unmaking, taking apart this door. Don't worry, we're here to help out. Wonderful. I need to remove these boards. <laughs> that was easy. Glad that's done. Now I'll have space for a flower bed. Oh, and with these spare parts, I know what we can do. A birdhouse. A small wooden house for birds. Whoa, sweet! It helps the birds in the neighborhood and thanks them for singing so sweetly for us. Oh, that's so nice! We make homes for the birds and they return the favor by living here and being lovely. <gasps> There's a bird! <laughs> I think I hear your grandmother calling you. This board I'll bring with me. I almost forgot to give you this. Hang it wherever you like. Thanks a lot. Yeah, thank you, sir. It's so cool. We'll find a good place for it. I can't wait to show the Turbozors. The board, too? We'll figure something out. We've got plenty of time. <laughs> Oh, good. A mailbox. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. It's for birds. For them to live? It's such a small, cute house. You know, I'm rather bird like. I want a bird house. I guess we could build a bird house for Jerry. That's a great idea. How should we begin to do it? We'd need things like bricks, but I don't see any here. We might not have any bricks, but we've got wooden boards. We just need to pick them up. They're right outside old Mr. Charlie's house. Go, go, Turbozors! What? I ruined what now? Ah. Oh, nothing! You made it much better! Mr. Charlie mentioned he wanted a place to plant his flowers. Flower beds are a piece of cake! I'm getting a ride. Another job well done. Go, go, Turbozors! Chuck, be careful. This is my house. A very special, important house. Houses, and in exchange, the birds give him music. Well, I am multi-talented, you know, but I've never tried singing. Make it stop. What? Was that not wonderful, Bull? It had a certain ring, like a cuckoo clock. And you don't need singing lessons to do that. Cuckoo, 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 cuckoo. Oh! Oh, lovely! Good job, kids! Coco! Huh? Coco! Hmm? Coco! Strange bird! Been three hours now! I didn't even know cuckoo birds could do that! Hmm? <laughs> 
beautiful day to be outside. Plus, we have ice cream cones. And even the birds look happy. <gasps> huh? Huh? That was a close one. Huh? 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 Ah! Huh? Hmm. Hey, look. Nobody's here yet. Maybe we just got here too early. Not to worry. They're on their way. Hey, everybody. What's the big plan for today? It's the perfect day for a sporting event. Like the high jump. I think I may have it in me to set the new record. What a great idea. Jerry, as the best high jumper among us, you will be the judge. I should have known. The real talent always gets sidelined. OK, Chuck, can you grab the crossbar from the soccer goal and lay it on the ground? That's what we'll jump over. Let the jumping begin. Uh, ah. Bravo, Joe. On second thought, I'm not up to this. Next time. Don't you worry, Thor. You'll have your day. Well done, Bull. Chuck, set that bar as high as it can possibly go. I feel ready to set a personal record. When you're ready, go for it. A worthy attempt, Bull. Now what are we supposed to do with this stone? We have to get rid of it, but it's just so huge. Nothing is impossible. Thor, you think you can saw this stone into smaller slabs? I'm always happy to help so long as it isn't a high jump. But why should we cut it down? The city park needs to repair the stones on its main trail. We can make them new stones out of this big stone. Exactly. And later tonight, after the park is closed, we'll swap the old stones with the new. That way, this stone can help everybody. What a great idea. Go, go, Turbozors. Absolutely perfect! Now, we need to carefully place the stones in Bull's bucket and take them to the park. Then we can lay our new trail. But we can't do it without Chuck, so we'll have to take him along in the trailer. Hooray! Chuck's going to the park! Go, go, Turbozors! Unky, unload the stones. Now we need to remove the old stones. Bull, this is the job for you. Chuck, you can lay the stones on the trail. Jerry, you can help him by watching from above to make sure that the stones lay flat. So far, so good, Chuck. Keep going. It could be a little more smooth. More beautiful than I imagined. Joe, just check and make sure the stones are laid perfectly everywhere. All perfect. Chuck, you are a true master. I can't get enough. I'm not even tired. Let's lay stones all around the city and the woods. Who's ready? Maybe another time. We can't just leave these here. I know what to do with them. We can grind them down and sprinkle them in any cracks that form between the stones. So there won't be any puddles when it rains. Great idea. Thor, can you grind down the stones? Always happy to help, so long as it isn't a high jump. (laughs) 
It looks like your day has finally arrived, Thor. Sure, as long as I don't have to do the high jump. Uh, 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 uh. Huh? Huh? Choo! <laughs> <laughs> hey, great job, everybody. turned out so well, and now no one else will lose their ice cream. Peter, Katie, do you think your grandma might want some new tiles in her kitchen? Gotcha! But only because these trees were in my way. It's a forest, Thor. The trees were there first. <laughs> it's okay, Thor. You'll catch up to them next time. You might just want to keep an eye out for the trees. They snuck up on me. Oh, do you hear that? It seems like they're building a new road. Now you're speaking my language. Building. How I would love to be a part of it. It's okay to dream, Thor. But it looks like they have enough workers without us. Nothing is impossible, Bull. Machinery breaks down all the time, so they might find themselves in need of a backup. And that backup could be me? Exactly. So when the builders leave, Chuck will get rid of the gate. And Thor, Unky, and Bull, you just stay parked in the place where the other machines are. Jerry, you capture it all on video so that both Katie and I can watch everything happen from right here. So we're just gonna sit there doing nothing? I think that's what he said. That sounds like fun to me. Is everybody ready? Well then, go, go, Turbozord! <laughs> We're working on a construction site. And in just a few moments, we will witness the payoff performance of our backup plan in action. And where is Thor? Thor's cool. He was entrusted with his own special section.
Thor has made a name for himself. Everyone's so happy with his work. And yet, someone else got all the glory. Danger alert! Danger alert! They want to send Thor to the shop! Send him to the shop? Well, we have to help him. Yeah! <sighs> it's such a pity. I had to leave the build at the most crucial of moments. Maybe this will make you feel better, superstar. Technology on the verge of fantasy! <laughs> I think I remember someone saying I eat too much. Well, I say that famous fantasy machines need extra food for extra energy. Speaking of food, it's time for lunch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, have you heard about the old playground? They're supposed to get a new swing set. Doubt it. We haven't been there in a really long time. Come on. All right, let's go. Move it. Oh, no. It's closed now. Not only are there no new swings, it's all closed down. Let's go. Slides, swings. I know that we're grown up, but where will the little kids all go now? Peter, maybe we can help them out. We'll come up with something. Shame you kids are losing that nice playground for the new road. But there's other things to do, right? <sighs> we do know someone who can help. Sure do. Jerry, do you copy? This is Peter. Over. Peter to Turbozors. You there? Strange. They're so advanced but can't figure out a walkie-talkie. Let me try it out. Hand it over. Joe, Chuck, anybody? <laughs> Such a shame. It's just not your day today, Anki. There's always next time. Anyone seen the radio? Hmm. Hmm? Huh? It used to be on the branch. Huh? Huh? Oh. Hmm? Boo! Anki! We need your help, guys! I'll take that. <clears throat> hey, it's Bull. Do you copy? Over. Bull, glad you picked up. We need your help with a special new project. Go, go, Turbozords! Ready for duty. Your playground problem's about to get a dino-sized solution. I'm ready to build some jungle gyms. Let's excavate Jurassic style. Or wait, am I Cretaceous? Mm hmm? Hmm. Here's an idea. We should build tunnels. Tunnels? But how? Look, Unky and Chuck, 
You guys can help reinforce these right here. Bull and Thor, you can dig the trench. Concrete floors will help reinforce the jungle gyms. The tunnels will help kids be able to access the playground. And before morning, we'll just put it all back. What can I do to help? Joe, those headlights of yours will help us out a lot. My flashlight's not nearly enough. Looks like we've got a plan. Go, go, Turbozords! <laughs> <laughs> Chuck, great job. You're like a superhero. Uh, what should we do with all this stuff? I've got a little idea. Unky, Thor, Chuck, let's move. Another job well done, Turbozors. Hooray! Shh, keep it down. It's past their bedtime. A mystery in town. Last night, an unknown <gasps> construction company added a tunnel system to the playground. Bull, do you copy? Check this out. It appears to have been done by professionals. A new road was going to cut off access to these facilities, but now it's better than it has ever been. So a big thank you to this mysterious helper. Hooray! <laughs> 